Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Morning! Bit better, bit better. Uh, I need to tell you, I've got laryngitis. Not poorly, I've just got laryngitis. Went to see the um, pharmacist yesterday. She said, uh, I can come to work, uh, but when I get home from work, I'm not allowed to talk. Uh, I'm no, not to shout, I'm not to whisper, I'm not allowed the air con on. So it's like, I'm naked from here downwards, it's so hot in here. And um, I'm supposed to have bowls of water, which we forgot about. So Kat said, oh, I'm sure there's a steamer somewhere. Hang on, I've got to switch it on to steam. Oh no, hang on. Here we go. Oh, I can't get this one to work today. Anyway, I'll sort it later. Might not be hot enough yet. Good morning, how are you? Shall we do today's early bed? That's you, Paul. Oh, hang on. There you go. Don't worry, Paul. We're all in it together, it's fine. So Paul, you've, I, oh, you met Paul yesterday, I believe. He works on, um, I've worked with him on Jewelry Maker. I must have, I've worked somewhere else with you as well. No, I've not done Hobby Maker yet. Anyway, do you want to give him a wave? This is him. There he is, there's Kat in the background looking like she's just come from hospital. Um, so Paul is the one, I tell you about, he's got a little ponytail and he wears a hat, even on the hottest of days. But on the coldest of days, he wears a t-shirt and a hat. Explain that to me. Uh, and anyway, we've got Cal in today as well. New boy Cal starts today. He's just staying for an hour. Apparently you only have to do an hour on your first day. Anyway, shall we look at... Oh, yeah, I haven't got an overhead, have I? So I can't show these. Here we go. Here's your early birds. They are Moda, small tin, so tins. Four tins, you get all four of them. Now, if you buy these after midnight tonight, it'll be 23.96. Guess how much they're going to today. Under 15 pounds, under 15 pounds. There you go, 14.96. Good morning, do you know the Gemini machine will be on this week at hospital two mornings? So I'd like to know from Tilly. Tilly, Tilly, uh, we're waiting for the new bundle to come in. I've got a gizmo, what is it called gizmo? Gadget hour on f Thursday, Thursday. No one was in your state. The steam started. The steam started. Um, I need to tell you something as well. After today, I've only got two days this month. Then I'm off till May. I know. 14.96, Lisa. So how much does that work out at the tin then? <laughs> That's Kat just coming to the studio. Cal, it's very lax here. You'll get used to it in a minute. 14.96. So what's half of 14.96? 7.50. Half 7.50. 3.75 each. 
Nice, aren't they? Which is on Victoria Carrington once. I can't remember which one she wants now. Anyway, look, they're lovely little tins. They're from paper and cloth. Oh. And, oh. <laughs> They've got rubbish inside these ones. Did you do that? Did you put those in there? Right, OK, so, Becky does those in there. So after the show, we can't open that one. I've just put my nail oil on. You say, oh, and I miss Karen from Seams as well, didn't I? Um, she puts that in there, right? So that she knows which tin goes into which bag afterwards. I will do. Cal sitting there going, what on earth am I doing? It's not like this on Jewelry Maker. What on earth's happening? Anyway, look, flowers, pins, sewing machine, scissors. What I shouldn't be here, should I? 14.96. I am melting. Oh no, they didn't even give me any pills or any medicine. She said, no, no, it'll go, it's, it's gotten a lot, it's a lot better today, I need to say. I know it's not very interesting for you to watch, but it's a lot better. Uh, Jan says, morning, John. Hope your voice is better. Morning, John, says Kate. Uh, lovely to have you back, says Marie. Patricia says, I love you. Syl, hello, Syl. How's your throat? Can you tell? Can you tell? Jackie says, morning. Uh, Laurie says, morning. Glad you know properly what's wrong with you. Have a lovely day. Margaret says, morning, John. Definitely sounding a bit better. Where's your water? I'll show you in a second. Good morning, John. Noel says, Claire. Carol says, good morning. On the chilly. It's not chilly, it's like a heat wave here, chilly, where do you, chilly, uh, Carol, where do you live? Kat says, morning, you're such a husky star. I'm not. Lynn to it. Good morning, John, hope you don't strain your throat. You're f so funny mixing up the bags. Donna says, good morning. Stacy says, you're full of mischief. I am. Good morning, John, everyone says, Pam, mini honey. You look like you're in a mischievous mood. Me? Saint. Anyway, have you bought these? Come on, we need more of you in this for 14.96. How much is it going back up to at midnight tonight? Goes back up to 23.96. Nine pounds saving. Put them in your present drawer. Lovely little presents, aren't they? What will you use them for? Pills? No, not pills, pins. <laughs> Travel mints in your car, says Paul. I didn't give me any pills. Now, what would you put in yours, Becky? Oh, she's rubbish at this. Do what? Fish fingers. This is why I have to work with. She's put fish fingers in hers. I don't think they're allowed to put food in them. Right, go. First day. What would you put in these? SD cards. Oh, what? SD cards. I don't know what one of those is. Oh, memory card. Do you remember I'm old? I have no idea what you're talking about. Be nice if we had memory cards, wouldn't it? Just slot, slot them in and be able to remember everything. Of course it will. Of course it will. Anyway, 14.96. Are we going? Oh, is it one o'clock yet? Uh, let's do today's uh, menu first. Coming up today, we've got Moda Fabrics at eight o'clock. Nine o'clock, we've got a picnic applique blanket with Victoria Carrington. She's in already um, making mischief, I can't tell you. It's nothing to do with me. Uh, 10 o'clock, kit you will love. That's Kat's a demand from Kat. Then at 11 o'clock, we've got a petal cushion. Oh, hello, petal. It's lovely, isn't it? That's the original. We've got two versions of that. One pastel, one bright. And then what else have we got? I'm just moving all my stuff across. <clears throat> oh, yes. I, oh, no, 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 no. Can't go yet. Let me just have a piece of melon. No. And oh, no, I can have warm. Just can't. Here you go. Sewing machines at 12. There are three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. What you do is um, just send it to studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, on Facebook Live. Which ones I've been shouting out to? <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, not shouting, I'm not allowed to shout it. Now, Tina, now I'm allowed to work. Tina, Tina, let me just tell you, Tina. They said I could work. I'm not naughty. Um, oh, no, no, that's not what she said. 
She said, you are naughty even when you're not well. June says, morning, handsome. Louise says, John, you still sound sexy. Anne says, we're having a sewing bee after... Oh, no, I'm not. I don't know if I can this year. I I'll have to watch the first one because I'm not sure I'm going to like the presenter. I didn't watch the one blue hydrangea. I was like, Vix has just told me, don't bother watching. It was rubbish. Kerry says, morning, John, you sound a lot better. Loving your shirt. Thank you, Kerry. Gerardine, you still sound you've got a sore throat. Have you... Uh, Dr. Mike is on holiday in New York. I went to a pharmacist yesterday. It's laryngitis. I'm allowed to work. I can't shout. I can't whisper. I can't have the air con on. And I can't have a coffee. Uh, morning, John. Take care of that voice. I will, Kath. Uh, Derek was, you know, Derek, singer Derek, he was giving me um, tips yesterday. He said, don't let the folds dry out. Don't know what that means. I've got my water, I've got my fruity tea, I've got my melon. In fact, I've got two waters. Uh, third way, go to the website, www.sayingstreet.com. Yeah, click on, uh, you go to the website, click on uh, watch live. What's that noise? What's that noise? Oh, it's the steamer. Okay, uh, and then we click on Watch Show Live. See the white box on the right-hand side there? Write your message. It's what? Okay, then scroll down the page. You'll see everything we've got for the next five hours. Uh, we'll go to two columns in a minute. At the moment, they're all on pre-order. When we've shown them, they'll go on to show deals. Look at the gorgeous mode of fabric. That quilt is being taken to a fantastic price. What else have we got there? Hang blanket, red check and blue check. Oh, still. <laughs> Kit round up. Oh, that's lovely birds in there. Oh, and the last of the Alice Caroline Dresden plates. There's only three of those left. We won't get those again. Uh, then what else in there? Sewing so machine. Oh, there, there's it. There. Oh, that's blue. <coughs> Uh, and then we've got sewing machines, got the Atelier 9, I've had that out all morning, uh, pressing the buttons and doing all that sort of stuff, and now, look, you know we always say we don't sell the walking feet, where are they, hang on, there they are, we sell walking feet for the B, category B, which is the 550, the 560, the 570, and we do an open toed and a closed toe one, oh no, toe what? Toes? No? Anyway. What, oh, what? What's that that sold out on pastel zips? You were quick on that, yeah. Well, Paul says sorry for that, he bought them all. What are you going to use them for, Paul? He's going to put zips in his quilt, that's nice. Right, good morning, says Judith, morning. Lo says, oh my goodness, no coffee, poor you, I know. Helen says, good morning. Right, shall we start? No shouting, no shouting, no shouting. I actually feel, just so you know at home, I actually feel fine. There's no symptoms, there's no sore throat, there's nothing. It's just, it's almost like someone's put a gauze over the top of my voice box. It just won't let the clearer sounds come out. <coughs> but I know it's a million times better than it was, so it's fine. Plenty of fluids and warm honey. No, Margaret. Not warm honey. She said, do not take warm honey. This is what the pharmacist said, because it clogs it all up. Must not have warm honey. Um, anyway, what are we doing first, sorry? Now, now, now. Janet Clare was in. Am I in the right place? Everything looks like it's smoothed. Come on, Paul. There you go. Oh, that's a sort of funny shot. <laughs> 8139. You get six metres of fabric. I oh, know, isn't it beautiful? Janet Clare designed this. She does two ranges a year for Moda. Oh, I loved her. I thought she was brilliant. But I'm a bit upset because I sent her a message after the show and I've not heard back from her. So she, she obviously didn't love me as much as I loved her. Yeah, I would, I'm being ghosted, as they say. Anyway, aren't they lovely? You got the dark blue ones. It's all based on um, space, Astra. Say that again. Cat says, who's got her phone? Oh no, that's gonna be embarrassing when it rings in the middle of the show, isn't it? <coughs> oh, June, puberty is finally hitting. Sounds like your voice is breaking. Thanks, June. 
Right, this is the only way you can make a saving. We're going to do them by the half meter and we are going to do two smaller bundles as well. However, this is the only one that you make a saving. You get 12 fabrics and you get one of them for free. £7.49 saving on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This won't make the quilt. This does not make the quilt that you saw with it the other day. We've got the pattern later, haven't we? <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In this hour, actually, in this hour. Christina. Morning, John. Can I use ripstock fabric on the back of a picnic quilt? Um, I'm over here. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, Paul, you're very good at this. You've been doing it for a long time. Oh, that long. Okay. Heather. Morning, John and team. Yes, that same programme was bad. Don't watch it. <laughs> Hope your voice gets better soon. It needs resting. Heather. Heather, I've got two more shifts here and one shift at Jewelry Maker and then that's it. I'm not in again till May. I oh, know. Uh, morning, John. Even having laryngitis top starter, I can't even read, doesn't stop you being hilarious. Such a lovely man and a presenter. You're very kind. Looking forward to a great show from Susan. Well, turn over, Susan. Won't be a great show here, I'm telling you. Well, no, Victoria Carrington's in. Debs. Bada da. You're making my husband and me laugh this morning with your naughtiness. Love it, love it, love it. From Debs in Mid Glamorgan. My husband. Look at her. My husband. And morning, John. Thought Lee Marvin was back. I was born. Well, no, I don't even allowed to sing. Uh, no, she didn't mention singing. I'm not allowed to shout. I'm not allowed to whisper. I was born under a wandering star. That was Lee Marvin, wasn't it? A wandering, wandering star. Good morning, John. Great to see you back. Gentle healing hugs sent your way. Feet up and chill when you get home. Love your shirt from Winifred Dorothy. Winifred Dorothy, I'm going walking with Dulcie after work, after work today. She said she's at the skip at half past four. So we're going for a walk after she's been to the skip. That's nice, isn't it? Have you bought this? Keep going through, keep going through. Let's do... Oh, Hilary loves the Janet Clare fabric, so do I. Uh, morning, says Julie Vaughan. Right, so let's do the two smaller bundles. So I've got the blue bundle. And I've got the... Yeah, Eclipse and Milky Way. Or oh, I better not eat a Milky Way, all that chocolate. Imagine what that would do to my throat. That would really clag me up. Which one am I doing first? Blue one. That's right. Here we go. Lovely. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six fabrics then. May. Not around to message again today. So have a fabulous break. Oh, love coffee voucher, Tracy. Where are you off to? Coffee voucher, Tracy. Well, are you coffee voucher, Tracy, or you're, are you Easter egg, Tracy? There's still. I've come in today, Tracy. I don't believe it. I don't know if somebody had hidden it. But there's one of your Easter eggs under here. I got. I won't be able to eat it. Oh, apparently somebody from Hobby Maker came in the other day and nicked one. Did you see our um, Claire from Native Lighting on Hobby Maker yesterday? Yeah. Oh no! Anne says you don't normally sing in tune. You must be ill. Cheeky. Cheeky. Yet yeah, Tina, I know it's uh, Tina's gone, but it's only a week and a half away, mate. I know, Titi, you're on one today, aren't you, I think? I hope you're going on holiday, you need to break. No, Geraldine, I'm not going on holiday. I'm staying home, lying on my sofa in the garden. As long as the weather's nice. Hi, John. Glad to see you on today, making me laugh. Just testing. Oh, no. Pauline. Poor old thing, 44.99. Are you too happy in there chatting about crisps? Thank you. Oh, I'll tell Charlie. How many eggs are in the jar? Oh, that's today. We've got all the competition winners today. Yeah, Kat, so all of the Easter winners are being announced today. And how many eggs are in the jar? I think it was 394. No, no, there's nowhere near that now. But, um, because you're, you're not winning the eggs. You're not winning the eggs. I think it was 394. Anyway, look at this. Buy this. No, that's the wrong colourway. 
Oh, hang on. Oh, no, cat. She's so busy chatting about crisps. She hadn't even told her presenter she'd changed the bundle. Yeah. Just as what well. Oh, no, I won't say. What's the matter, Becky? Uh, John, go next door and get a blue crystal. Hold it next to your throat. It should help to heal you. Oh, Becky, go next door. Go next door and ask floor, who's on floor next door. Don't look at me like that. Who's on the floor tomorrow? Dan? Oh, I know, no, no, he's really young and skinny. Yeah, I've seen him. Like, looks like he should be on EastEnders. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen him already. Uh, yeah, or oh, Peaky, maybe Peaky Blinder. Has he got a Birmingham accent? Oh, he's a Birmingham boy. Morning, John. Sorry I suggested whispering, but that was what I was prescribed to after six weeks laryngitis. Then exercise is blowing bubbles with a straw. Oh, no, and no, that they said definitely, definitely, definitely not to whisper. <coughs> anyway, these are gorgeous, aren't they? Look at them. What hour was Janet in? Was What day was it? She did a whole design background of this. Thursday. 11 o'clock hour, please go and watch her. She, it's fascinating, the way she designs fabrics and everything. 44.94. That, yeah, but we've got four days worth of winners. On my day, oh no, on my day, somebody would win the Liberty book. You know, the Jenny Smith Liberty book and a huge, what? Well, no, because all our team were off on holiday, weren't they? So they wouldn't do it till today. 44.94. Yeah. Uh, no, we did, win, we did do bingo as well, uh, except Bruce wasn't very happy with it, so he showed them all in the first hour. <laughs> 44.94. Buy the half meter, the blues or the creams? Creams first, okay. Shall I give you... Oh, go on then. Okay, so I'm sure, okay, so Kat says, right, I'm going to do my favourite one, John. Look at this from above, right? The cream one with drawing on. Right, let, not that one then. Right, okay, this is lovely. This is the signature fabric of the collection. I had low as a child. My voice completely disappeared for a week. Oh, my word. Need the same. Vix was saying in the dressing room, because Vix is on um, Jewelry Maker this morning. Um, what was what I trying to say? Oh, she gets it all the time. But she has a, neb a nebulizer or something like that. And I was like, I don't even know what one of those is. That's the one. That's the one. Tina says I'm making her laugh. Jill says you need to rest that voice. Uh, <coughs> I was 31 eggs out on the egg guess, says Lynn to it. No, Hannah said it's got to be the right number or none. Not clear. Did you get me a blue gemstone, Becky? Did you get me a blue gemstone? This is cut off the bolt for you by the half metre. Beautiful quilting weight, 100% cotton. Yeah, which one do you want to do next then? Okay, let's do this one then. Eclipse, I think this one's called. It's pretty, isn't it? Look, I'll put my hand in so you can see the size. Comet, this one's called Comet. £7.49. Mode Astra Comet, Milky Way. Who was it messaging about the gemstone? Chris. Becky's, she's refusing to go and get me one, Chris. I'll have to go and do it myself in the break. Outrageous. Paul carries a lot of weight next door. I can just go through and say, Paul says... Did I what? Oh yeah, not fat, not fat, not fat. I meant carries, you know, a lot of weight, respect-wise. Yeah, rather. 
Anyway, this is pretty easy. What's this one called? Starlet. Well, uh, no, I'm, no, I'm on my downward descent now. I'm not a starlet anymore. I'm a shooting, fading star, me. Blue stone, just a blue gemstone, please, Becky. Any blue gemstone. She's looking at me like, will you just shut up? Oh, there's a secret door there, Cal. Look. At 7.49. You on jewelry maker at the weekend, Cal? Oh, this weekend, though. Oh, I'm on, I'm on on Saturday. On jewelry maker. GIA trained me, you know. Yeah. Can they get you a sapphire? It's, no, I doubt it. It'll be a lump of blue, something blue. Lapis lazuli. Like, what's that one, then? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's lapis. Okay. Lapis lazuli. You buy the you buy the gemstone while I hom. I want those singing bowls. Thought they were lovely. Don't grab a tan tonight. They'll rugby tackle you before you get out the door. Yeah, it's not gems next door. It's jewelry maker. Seven forty nine. Did you watch jewelry maker yesterday? It wasn't well, you wanted to slap Wayne, didn't you? Did I see who? That's what. Oh, I've got to give it back because it's for the show. <laughs> oh, there, yeah. Who had half sunburned Wayne? What, like a f truck driver? But he mostly had been sat in a pub. That's the problem. He was just being all shouty, shouty. I've moved on to the next one, by the way. Can you see the uh, plough? Isn't that what they call those big stars? The big bear. The big bear. Oh, that's nice. I've got some fruity tea today. I've got strawberry and raspberry fruity tea today. And it's very nice. Ah. Oh. You got what? <clears throat> what, from the Moroccan shop? Beautiful. And then last of the cream, it's like a grunge, this one. Look, can you see? It's only half a metre, this one left. £7.49 for half a metre. Now let's do the blues. We'll go a bit quicker with the blues. It's lovely, this, isn't it? Lovely. The rich navy blue. Oh, do you want the number? Sorry. Yeah. Sorry, Paul. Only four and a half meters, this one left. You're bored now, Becky. Cal's very bored. Then pan 49. Next one. Remember, buy them. I'd buy the mega bundle if I were you. This one. Looks like an engagement ring, that, isn't it? It isn't. Something Cat will never get. It's true, though, isn't it? No. Save your money. Don't get married. Get a new kitchen. Oh, oh no, Becky said she'd get married. Why? Have you seen how much a wedding costs? Also, if he doesn't like crowds, you'd only be four of you there. Ah, oh, nobody'd come, she said. No, little Paul would go. Not this Paul that's in today, little Paul. He'd be there. No, and we all are. Beautiful. Then let's do the shooting starlets. There you go. Don't take it away because I've got to do the mega bundle. That's not a word. Who's getting married? Somebody says they're getting married. I'm getting married in December. 
Oh, that's good. God blame me if I was doing your wedding, the dress would cost more than that. Is she? Does she know? Uh, Rebecca Harrison's going to make cats dress for her. Yeah, she said that though, knowing she'd never have to make one. Right, um, here we go. £10.49. Far from each, it's 100% cotton, machine washable, quilting weight. Beautiful. Be I love this. I love the colours of this. The quilt, I'll show you the quilt pattern in a minute. Um, the what, what? Navy blue is always fashionable. They're not squares. Oh, okay. Uh, Paul's seeing water jugs. I'm seeing space invaders. Bex is seeing fleas. I don't know where you got that one from, Bex. Satellites, they are. No. Milk jugs, kettles. That's what they look like. Beautiful. And then the last one, navy blue grunge. It's not called grunge, it's not called grunge. But Moda do one like this, that they call grunge, don't they? What's the matter? Loads of this one in baskets. Oh, it's very Paul. Okay, it looks like Paul's going out jeans, this apparently. He's pulling jeans. He's not worn them for a while. <laughs> oh. right let's just look at the mega bundle again because this is the only way to make a saving on this fabric you get all of these beautiful beautiful oh cat's peaked already there you go Oh, look at all of those. £81.39. Uh, you are saving £7.49. Do what? Anna did that on, um, yeah, the weekend. Makes it £6.78 a half metre when you buy it like that. You are they're obviously cut already. So you will get, if you buy two, you'll get two half metres of every fabric. Beautiful. Gorgeous, love it. Oh, there's only nine left. Well, oh, don't shout, John, don't shout. Only nine of those left. Oh, and wait, if you all check out, there's actually only four left. Thank you. Three fat quarters. There you go. Okay, fat quarters, these are pins, scissors. What's that one? Square spots. Oh, it'd be square cutting paper. Oh, I've got to tell you, at about five o'clock yesterday afternoon, I got an email with the whole of the book. Apart from my with thanks to at the end, the whole I've got to do the final editing by Friday. It's frightening. It's so frightening. No, no, because I'm up to page 75 already. I know. I'm just frightened you're all going to hate it. Right, go back to this. 383 a fat quarter. They're little um, dressmaking Victoriana scissors, that's why. Uh, not em uh, embroidery scissors, sorry, embroidery scissors. So you want to go up? Let's go to 299 a fat quarter. Go on then. Jan, is Jan Hill awake yet? Jan, Jan. We just did a crash, Jan. I'm ever so sorry. Makes them three pounds each, look. Three pounds each. Good morning, John, says Cousin Susan. Good to see you. Thank you, Cousin Susan, and you too. <laughs> Limited numbers. Oh, Anne says we'll love your book. I hope you do. But the editor, who has got nothing to do with sewing or anything like that, said, oh, I can't wait for book two. Oh, my word, you've t whetted our appetite. Can't wait for book two. Not that. 
Well, Mike, if I, if I sell enough of these, yeah, see, you're, you're not mentioned in book one. No, you're not in it either. It finishes before I meet you. In, that's why you have to do book two, you see. Yeah. It's a sewing come memoir, come recipe book, come mantra book. Um, yeah, you're still not mentioned, Kat. Eight ninety nine. Yeah. No, no, no. I never said that about you. I said that about Hannah. Good see you back, says Teresa. Your book will be fabulous. Can't wait to read it. Thank you. Munches, isn't it? No. No. Well done. Summer breeze makes me feel fine. This is gorgeous. My next door neighbour's got this. It's beautiful. Look at these fabrics. Forty-seven ninety-nine. Ooh. Did you just hear my tummy rumbling? Hello, John, I'm so looking forward to your book. Will it come out in paperback though? Lots of love and hugs, Davinia. Davinia, no, no, paperback. Watch my voice, watch my voice. Don't shout, don't squeal. Anyway, 47.99. Look at this Paisley, Charlie's favorite. If you're watching Charlie, Cat says she misses you. He said he was going to watch every day from Athens, didn't he? Has, is he in Athens now then? Oh, everyone knows, went early morning Sunday. I haven't even got his phone number, so he's not going to ring me, is he? Beautiful. Is it? Oh, if it's grey outside, sunshine indoors, that one. Oh, is it looking grey outside now? It was lovely. And no, all my garden furniture's out and I'm going to be lying on it. Oh, I was gonna, I was gonna mow my lawn this afternoon as well. I won't now. Yeah, he does, but he only comes once a month, you see, so it gets a bit long if he doesn't come. Oh, Paul's redesigning his garden. Beautiful. Oh, I have to say, Jenny's book is fabulous. Spent a lovely long time looking through it. Might even do a project from it, says Ange. Uh, Anne says, looking forward to my, your book. Have space on my coffee table, ready for it. Um, who was that from? Anne, it's only that big. It's only little. Yeah, in fact, you know what I did yesterday? I put a picture of, uh, when I changed my Facebook um, profile picture today, of, uh, Luther lying across my desk like that it was only one I put it up and it was big you can see in my diary and had a list of all the things I had to do that day and I was like I don't think this one's for public not that there was anything rude on it uh Fabi see this morning John you're such a trooper when your voice is still poorly your book will be brilliant just like you okay thank you uh Shazza morning John loving your playfulness this morning thank you for making a smile your book will be a smash I'm sure from Sharon can you hear my tummy rumbling I didn't have any breakfast I'm, and uh, what time is it 20 to 9 already and I'm rumbling away here oh Jan is awake she sent a message via the app web because Facebook live said it had ended oh she's dressed awake enough ready to find it now good but and say goodbye. You're obviously feeling fine. I've got wandering stars stuck in my head now. <clears throat> Where are you off to, Jan? Uh, keep looking at those. I'm just going to have a piece of melon to help my throat. I don't know where the app messages go. Oh, should they? No, uh -huh. 47.99, beautiful. Seven left. Seven left. Oh, what, 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 what? No, okay. Mo de Great. I've got this fabulous quilt. I haven't even talked about that yet. This is, it can't be brand new. I've got a thing made of it. Oh, this is fabric by the half meter. Becky ran this up last night for the show. It's very clever. Did your mum help you? 
Look, is it a Wendy Orlando one, this one? Go in. Thank you. No. Oh. 47.99. Brand new. Beautiful. Uh, Kat's middle name is Grace. Victoria Carrington's daughter's called Grace. That's all. Mandy's child. Yeah, I was doing the whole thing. Monday's child is fair of face. Tuesday's foul. child is full of grace. Wednesday's child has works hard for a living. Thursday's child, something dumpling giving, something and giving. Friday's child, I can't remember them now. Sunday. Look at these beautiful fabrics. Oh yeah, I remember these by the half metre now. Well, let me put back a shot. There you go. Lovely lemons there. Look. Brand new 10 inch charm pack, this, or layer cake, or stacker. Oh, no, it's a layer cake because it's moda. Got your greens in there, your pale blues. Gorgeous. So, what would that say? Monday's. Fair of face. All right then. What day were you born? Oh, she doesn't know. Ask your mum. She'll remember. She's days etched on her brain forever, isn't it? Giving birth to you. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous fabrics. First time it's ever been on that. Forty-seven ninety-nine. I'll put it back. Keep going through. Oh no. <laughs> Right, I've got a bundle of this beautiful fabric coming up next. That's been very, very, very popular, this one. £112.35. Uh, split pay, £56.17. Uh, now, yeah, but look, Kat. Isn't this the one where I made you do something? Uh, we've got to crash this, but it's not our fault, Jan. They just forgot to take the half a metre off. Susan's a Wednesday's child. Hi, John, looking forward to your book. When will it be available? D, June the 19th. My birthday. 104.86. Beautiful, isn't it? I love these fabrics. They're traditionals. Oh, no, no, that's the wrong... Okay, thank you. We don't need the rest of that. Thank you. Teddy sent in a message. It was a completely different thing. Right, who is, who is Marisa Michel? Here she is. Or oh, can I have it on the big telly, please? I can't read on that one at all. Uh, and can I just move the graphics? <laughs> Embrace the revolutionary spirit of education and discovery with the latest collection by Betsy Chichen. Inspired by the life and times of Maria Mitchell, Maria's uh, sh sky showcases a uh, sky showcases beautiful floral patterns reminiscent of fabrics in the mid 1800s. Who is Maria Maris Mitchell? Oh, now she's called Maris there, but Maria up there. So that's a spelling mistake, isn't it? Look, Maria Mitchell spell. Oh, now it's spelled Maria was an astrologer, librarian, and naturalist. I thought that meant she walked around with no clothes on, but apparently it doesn't, and educator. She discovered a large telescopic comet in 1847, for which she was awarded a gold medal by the King of Denmark. Do you think she could have had her hair done for the photo? Her discovery thrust her into international spotlight to be America's first professional female something. Astro astronomer, astronomer. Julianne says, good morning. Uh, Anne says she was born on a Thursday. She's got far to go. Yeah. Wasn't there another slide? Let's see if we've got any spelling mistakes on this one. Betsy, who's the designer of this, uh, developed a passionate interest in fabrics, quilt sewing, and history as a child. 
after graduation from the University of Texas at Arlington in night right okay so how old do we reckon she is if she graduated in 1980 she must be about the same age as me Betsy received an antique quilt top made by a paternal great-grandmother and great-aunt. It was then that she saw herself for the quilt. Betsy began teaching in 1990. So what did she do for 10 years between when she graduated and started working? And she shares her passion for quilt making and reproducing 19th century quilts through teaching presentations and bed turnings. Excuse me. She is the author of several books, her latest being Classic and Heirloom Quilts. <clears throat> and it's uh, the coming very soon Treasury of Quilts from Martingale. Her previous books include Gone to Texas, Quilts from a Pioneer's Woman Journal, Liz's Legacy and Just Treats. Uh, Betsy's passion for fabric, study and antique quilts has led to design fabric with Moda, which isn't far from Grand Prairie, Texas, where she lives with her husband. Is that where Moda's based? Hmm. I just... Sorry, I'm just having a slurp on my um, drink, so I just uh, soothe my throat. Anyway, gorgeous, beautiful fabrics. I've only got the bundle today. Are they available by the half metre? On the website, but not underneath us on today's show, just on the website. Jan says you're mixing up naturist with naturalist. Oh, am I? Crazy Lorraine says good morning. Good morning, Crazy Lorraine. 104.86. We're already ta now we've taken off seven pound forty-nine. Just so you know. Okay. I'll be back. Don't worry. <laughs> I love this quilt. Emma Bradford did it the other day, or well, a couple of weeks ago now. 19th of March. Oh, it's a month. Is that what date is it today? 19th, a month away it was. Month today. Blimey, that's gone quickly. And 179.99, split pair of 59.99. Look at the size of the quilt. 216 by 216. We never had a finished sample of this one, but you get a ruler. What's Bruce doing in? Oh, is he? I don't know. Apparently Bruce, director Bruce said today, but he's not with us, he's on Hobby Maker. It's very early. 179.99, you get a ruler, which isn't used just for this quilt. You can use it for lots and lots and lots of other projects. You get your instructions. And then you get the most glorious fabrics. You get the cream as your background. Now the cream is um, textured. It's not just a plain cream. You get a wadge of that for your background. Then you get your green speckled egg. Oh, now you get two pieces of this. One's for your binding, one's for your quilt. So just make sure you're cutting the right one up. You get green speckled eggs. You get mahogany wood. You get teak or oak, and then what would you call that pale one? I don't know. I've got some uh, Philippine fabric, washed up wood. Uh, yeah, but is it birch? Then you've got moss. I know. Then you've got speckled egg again. Then you've got speckled egg in the red. Then wait, look, basket weave. Beautiful. Then you get fishing instructions on blue. You get fishing instructions on beige. Then these are my favorite. They look like flannel. They're printed to look like flannel, but they're not flannel. Gorgeous cottons in the teal, although what peppermint, mustard, red, and that's it. Beautiful, isn't it? Such a gorgeous quilt. Now, it was that price when we did it. And it sold very, very well, but it's been a month now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so do that then. Do the first one. What? Oh, okay. Right. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. 
We reduced it to this price the other day. Because we had a 10% off day, didn't we? Not day, hour, hour, hour. On certain quilts. However, we're feeling a little bit rebellious today. We've been in all bank holiday weekend. Management have been at home. So, as a thank you for being with us all weekend. Cat's going again. Only a little bit, obviously. Only a little bit, because we shouldn't really have taken it. 159.99. Split pay of 53.33. No. Hang on, I might better look in the book. You might tell me in the book. But you do get the ruler. And you do get the full instructions. And, oh, and, oh, and, 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 and. It's very simple. Don't be, it's just sewing strips together, look. And then you cut them at 45 degrees to create these. And then you sew them together to create this. So it's very, very easy. But... You can do different patterns if you want to. You don't have to do the layout in the book. Hang on, let me just have a look now. Oh, here you go. So you get half a yard of 12 colors, so that's six yards. You get two and a, 2 point five, uh, two po just over two and a half meters, uh, yards of two other colors, so that's another five yards. Then you get seven other colours, half a yard of each, and two and five-eighths of another one. That's what? No, hang on, you've lost count now. Right, so 12, you get six yards of the 12 colours. Write down six. Write down five. Write down two and a half. But then write down three, because you get six colours, half a yard of each. And then, that's it. Oh no, and three quarters of a yard of binding. And then, yeah, and then two and three quarters. Yeah. 11, 13 and a half, 16 and a half. Twenty yards of fabric you get in there. Brilliant. That's not right. Doesn't feel like there's 20 yards in here. No, that's not right. Let me just read this. Fabric requirements, 12 colours, 2 colours, 7 colours. Oh, I'm confused now. You do get a lot of fabric, though. It's beautiful. And do go and look on the 19th of March when Emma Bradford made it. Won't get this again. And how many have I got left? 159.99. Plus your free ruler, which you'll use for other jobs. It's not just for this one. Hmm? Well, no, 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 because it's not one of the ones that's been made for us. It's a Moda, it's a Moda bun, it's a Moda one, isn't it? How much? Right, we found this exact quilt. Oh, and a picture, that's even good, good picture. Yeah. Uh, how much is it? 18595. Look, it's gorgeous, look. So you could buy that elsewhere. And it's got the ruler in it and everything in that other one, has it? Ooh. Very nice. Yeah, 185, it's... No? Even our start price was better than that, was it? Brilliant. Keep going through for that. Got three jelly rolls. Uh, to me, words to live by, 
Cream, black, blue. Little bit of red in there. Have I got this one open? No, 44, no, no. Right, limited, limited, limited of the amount we've got of these. Oh no, should I open this? Well, only because we'll get lots of fluff, won't we? And my throat might start coughing. I'm, I'll take the polythene off to show you the different colours there. There you go. Get black and white. And then you get your blues, your oranges and your pinks. Contemporary colours. It's by Ginger Burr. Words to live by. Jelly roll. Two and a half inch strips. How many are there? Uh, 40 of them. 42 and a half inch strips with the fabric. 44 pounds and 99 pence. Beautiful. Which one? Yeah, you have to choose. Right. This one is called Regency Somerset Blues by Christopher Wilson Tate. Beautiful. Christopher Wilson Tate has the most incredible collection of traditional quilts. And then he designs fabrics around those uh, traditional quilts. Gorgeous colour. This is very much like the colours in the log cabin that Jane Alcock made for me. Yeah? The... What colours my what? Oh, there's lots and lots of centres because it's lots of log cabins. They're all yellow. Yeah. No, they're either yellow or red. Red for the fire and yellow for the family or something like that. Beautiful, gorgeous, taken from traditional designs. Look, aren't they stunning? Very popular, this one. Beautiful. Look what that flower is there. What, snapdragons? No, that's not a snapdragon. Antirhinum. That's the, that's the name of the snapdragon. The ones you pop. Never mind. Ring your dad and shout at him. Apparently Cat got all angry with her dad the other night when they went out for a curry. Beautiful. See Delphine's pictures of her holiday. Looked lovely, didn't it? She's miles away. Gorgeous, 47.99. No, you. <laughs> She's not listening. She's not listening. Last one, then we're going for a break. And I can make myself another cup of tea. Lovely, joyous colours in this one. Sincerely yours. Love, hearts. Colours of passion and... 47.99. Beautiful. Oh, she's asking her dad as well. We'll have worked, we'll have moved on from the flowers by then. Shh, Victoria Carrington, I'm still on there. <laughs> Listen to her giggling in the background. Oh, morning, John and Tim. The flowers were lilies. Oh, were they, Linda? They've, got, they've, been put away, they've been put away now. Keep going through, make sure you check out on everything in there. Lots of people got things in their baskets and you do need to check out. Oh yeah, very quickly, very quickly. I'll do those very quickly. Cushion pattern first. We haven't got them here because they're drop ship. But anyway, this is the cushion pattern. Now, which colorway is it in? Oh, it's just the pattern. <laughs> <laughs> if you bought the bundle, you can make a few of those. Oh, freesias. They weren't freesias. No, they weren't freesias. I think they're more likely to be a lily than a freesia. So that's the pattern of the cushion. 
and oh this quilt was divine it's just the pattern the bundle it's you don't buy the bundle to make the quilt because it's different it's different um amounts of fabric what size is it we've got oh yeah it worked for either size isn't it worked for either size sorry fuchsia fuchsia yeah you're right uh claire thinks they're stargazer lilies though not fuchsias 9.99 that, that we had hundreds of those it's 15 left and also can i explain to you if you make the 60 by 60 or the 90 by 90 they look exactly the same it's that the squares and all are bigger so if you can just show the picture again so if you if say that was the 60 by 60 if you make the 90 by 90 there's not more blocks around the outside you'll just have a much bigger star or much bigger stars all through it so the design stays exactly the same cool it was absolutely stunning it was beautiful go for a break now oh now have you told her no we didn't i didn't cat might have done okay hang on so look, this is what she's doing this hour. I've, did I miss a thingy? For some reason, I've missed a thingy. Anyway, so Victoria Carrington is on for an hour and a bit now. So she's doing this. And then she's coming on and she's going to demonstrate her little houses, <laughs> her seminole cushions, and her flip and stitch cushions, which she's lost. We will see you back here in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there. We 
know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. There's something got. Oh, it's all right now. It's all right now. Just don't move him. Uh, now, Victoria Carrington's here waving to your camera. Hello. Wait a minute, there you go. She's <laughs> not been here before, so it's all new to her, this studio. Lovely to see you. And you. Are you all right? Yeah, thank good, you. Good, good. She's been busy prepping in the other room. She's on for an hour and a bit. That's what's thrown her a bit. <laughs> right. How gorgeous is this? All right, hang on. I've already told them that. Um, gorgeous picnic um, quilt. What's the matter? What do you want? Oh, your microphone's not on. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is. It's all right, it is on. I don't know why Becky said it's not on, because Paul said it was on. And look at it there. Now you can put it on grass because it's backed on ripstock. So, <coughs> let me show you. Right, let me get this clear. This bundle, I'm about to sell you is for the top and the binding. You need to supply the backing and the wadding. What wadding have you put in there? I've just put normal quilting wadding in, but you don't need to put wadding in if you don't. You could use fleece. Oh, okay. Or you could make it into a tablecloth. And not put anything in yep. the middle. Yeah, okay. So if you want to use it as a tablecloth, don't put anything in it, but you will need to do your own backing. Just telling you that up front. Right, so this one here is the red gingham one and a half meters of the red gingham, half a meter of the, it looks like marine, but it might not be. Royal blue. Royal, royal, plus a panel. Now, wait, I have this panel, right, is in, look. Oh, it's too big, it's too big. Oh, hold that. There you go. Look at the size of this panel. Do a pan, Bex, do a pan. Which way are you going? That's only the middle bit you see in there. There's all of this down here as well. What? Stock's flying out already. 39.99. So what's this for here then? So this is for all of your pieces in the middle. Right. And then you've obviously got your gingham for your yeah. main background and your half a meter for your binding. Perfect. And, and it rolls up and there's, you can also make the little strap that goes with it to wrap it up. Where are they then? Oh, they're not just attached? Make, no, you oh, just tie okay, it round. Okay, okay. Yeah. Like a yoga mat. So yeah. that means in here, yeah. there's an awful lot because it's quite heavy or you've got yes, one over there. Yeah. Put it on your desk there. Okay. Oh, I've got to stand on my Don't problem. tread on anything, you're right. Yeah. Oh. Right. You're right. You're right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Be... She's feeling a bit funny this morning. Right, from overhead please, Paul.
There you go. It's a very <laughs> posh picnic blanket, this. So obviously you've got all your written instructions yeah. and loads of photos, and then you've got your full size. Yeah. <laughs> full size. Are we? Is that upside down? Or? It is, but it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that, they're all full size, and it tells you what to cut them out of, what colour, and how many to cut of each right. out of your bonder web. Yeah. And also on the panel, it tells you exactly what the they different are. fabrics yeah. are for. Perfect. Um, so you've got all well, those. Okay. Been busy, haven't I? Haven't you? Yeah. Did you get the kids to draw this? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. So okay. all of that comes in the pattern. Yeah, and you Plus, also get the um, instructions of how to bind a quilt or cushion you must or have whatever. Had thousands of those printed because they're I in every one of yours, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, I've only shown you one colourway so far. That was the red gingham one. How about a blue gingham one? It was this one, this one you're going to see de uh, demonstrated. So you get, oh, this is lovely gingham, this, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Really? And it doesn't crease or anything, it's really nice. It's woven though, isn't it? So it's, it's yeah. a woven one, yeah. not a printed one. It's lovely. So yeah, me, have we got this on its own? Oh, I'd like a shirt made out of that. Anyway, so you get your blue metre and a half, red half a metre, picnic blanket instructions plus your panel for $39.99. That is enough to do the front and the binding. What's you coming over yeah. here for? I was just checking that was on. Okay, that's fine. Lovely. Now, the back of this one has got ripstock on it, right? Perfect for outside, even if you're making a tablecloth out of it, I put this on it. I've got an array of colours, which I'm going to run through now, if yep. that's all right with you. Yep. Good. <laughs> right, so you've gone with the red one. Oh, oh it's happened. The red one on the back of your... Yeah. Oh, Becky. Gorgeous, isn't it? Where's your helper gone? Oh, is that it? It's not staying. One ninety nine. This is now you buy it by the half meter. How much do I need to buy? One and a half meters. Three units, one and a half meters. So your backing of your quilt is going to be six pounds. Good, isn't it? Yeah. That's good, isn't yeah. it? Because normally, yeah. when you do a quilt kit, you then kind of go, "Oh, you got to buy the backing. Oh, yeah. it's how many meters? This, that, and the other." Yeah. So you could do the whole backing for six pounds. And is it easy to sew? Yeah, really easy. Um, and I I did press it, but just on a really like gentle cool. heat. Yeah. Um, and it came out perfectly. And it was really easy to well. quilt. Yeah. And you could quilt yeah. first as well. So I made that exactly as I would a quilt. Um, and I had no problems with it because I'd never used it before. Brilliant. You've never used it? No. Oh, did you panic when it arrived? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I thought you would. <laughs> right, okay, so that's the red one. What colour are you going to put on the back of this one then? Blue? Blue. So we'll I think because of the binding, whatever colours you need to go, I think it looks better opposite oh, the binding. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So whichever colour you've gone through on the top, I'd go for on the back. Okay. So blue, 199, half a metre. Three units. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's your blue. There's no bag in that one, Becky. Oh, yeah, there it is. You're not allowed to, we're not allowed to do that. Right, I'll tell you later. Tell me if it's a bundle, you're allowed to do that. Yellow. It's not a bundle. Gorgeous, here's the yellow. Oh, I like that one. Oh, did you? So it's, so it's Kat's fault. And she doesn't care anymore. 199. Very yellow, that one. Very, it is sunshiny, Paul, that's what I said. Okay, so then let's go to the dark navy blue. Obviously, you're, you don't need to buy it just for this project. You can buy it for any project you like. It always flies out, this. Polyester. Now you need, oh, okay, four units. Most people have bought four units of it so far. Very nice. Nice, that dark colour, isn't it? Paul agrees. It's nice to have a director that listens, isn't it? No, Charlie doesn't. Charlie's brilliant as well. And so is Bruce. Yeah, it's just my producer that doesn't listen to me. Right, black. When would you use black then? On a black quilt. 
Gorgeous. Or the insides of makeup bags. Yeah, that's Gorgeous, a good idea. Isn't it? Or um, Kitty's poncho. Maybe not black. Good idea. Well, don't keep because you don't want to take a great raincoat with you. That orange one would be good for that. Well, you'd never lose your them. child, <laughs> would you? <laughs> On ninety nine. I think I might have to um, get some ribbons of this one and tie them round um, Ghost and Luther. Oh. One of my neighbours came out the other day and they went, isn't, he said, isn't it lovely the way they go everywhere together? And I said, what do you mean? He said, when you go to work in the morning, they jump over the back fence, they walk off to the woods together, obviously go and play in the woods all day, and then the afternoon come back, oh. wandering back together from the woods in the afternoon. Uh, one night time, that's very orange. Right, uh, also, um, we weren't supposed to be doing this, but we're going to. If you want to do the pattern on its own, if you want, if you want yeah, adjust the pattern on its own. Now, Mo, I'm very limited on these. There's no picture on the website, so we weren't meant to be doing it. It's called the Posh Picnic Blanket. Now, now that's a lot of work for 9.99. Oh, she's looking at me like, that's not meant to be 9.99. No, well, no it's not, Kat, are you sure that um, price is right? <laughs> Kat? They're all, my, oh, they're all the same. Really? What all all my patterns are the same price. Yeah, that, but yeah, but that's got a lot of pages in yeah, it. Yeah, it has. I had to go to two different printers yeah. for that. Now, we've got what? What are you <laughs> saying? So I had to go to two different printers. Did you, I? Because then I'll get these ones done at one place and then those oh, done at another. Oh, no. And then put them in the Because I'm not advanced enough to be, to be able to uh, scan these in, so oh. I have to go. Sort of Say that again. Story. Yeah, yeah, she won't be losing out on it. She'll still get paid the same amount. Right, just to clarify. Now, we need to also apologise here. You do need an awful lot of Bonderweb for this. Yeah. We have sold out of the rolls of Bonderweb, so we've still got it on the sheet, but you're going to use several of these sheets, yeah. aren't you? Yeah, yeah. So unless you bought the roll of Bonderweb from us in the past and put it in your stash, um, this isn't going to be enough. I'm stating it here and now, so if you watch this on YouTube later, when you've received yours and going, well, there's not enough bond web in here. I am saying there is not enough bond web in there to do the pattern no. with. I think if you wanted. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, you make, can you put it in? Right, there are six rolls. The cat's just found some, we don't know where they've come from. There are six rolls of the bond web. No picture, no sample here, anything like that. If you want the roll of bond web, which is five meters, buy that one 23.99 because you'll use lots won't you yeah yeah i mean if you wanted to if you got some like 505 spray or something like that you could possibly do the bigger ones right um on there but not the eggs um, but and the, the little yeah. things you really want to be using the bond web to make it sure it's got a nice good seal on it really yeah, exactly just makes it easier for you when you're sewing it yeah so that's your bond web 23.99 on the roll there's only six and there's people putting it in the baskets right? I am sorry. It's warm in here anyway. Well, no, because I haven't got the air con on, you say. You can only hear me wafting. <laughs> sorry, everybody. It's very hot in here. The lights have just gone off as well. Right, so Victoria Wood. Victoria Wood. <laughs> Victoria Carrington. <laughs> Entertainers. Oh, blimey. Making the blue one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just do like a little bit of a sample of it. So I'm going to do the strawberry plate. Right. And the Prosecco. Right, you hope. So um, obviously you haven't got to lay it out as I have. You can um, use different, if you've got some different scraps in your fabric bag, you can use those for different things. So it's just an idea to get you started okay. really. Okay. Why are the knives and forks on the wrong side? Because I'm left-handed. Oh. My mum said that to me and I'd already stuck one down so it was too late. Okay then. Yeah. So now, I know you're doing a little sample. Yeah. But you would, it, this isn't done in squares, it's done on one great it's big one square. It's one whole piece, and yeah. Would, have you got any tips of how, because obviously using a little 18 inch square like yeah. you're about to is much easier. Yeah. Have you got any tips about how okay. to, when you're doing the right size? Yeah. So when you put the different elements together, so you'll make, say this up as one block, oh, one okay. piece, yeah. and then you stick it on. And what I did is because I thought, if people have got smaller sewing machines, they're not gonna be able to get it through if there's all wadding on, and because you're going round funny little yeah. bits and bobs. So I just, I sewed all of these on um, with the 
with no interfacing or no wadding or anything underneath. I just stitched them onto the Right, so what you fabric. did was, take this one for example, the little yeah. platter of sandwiches. Yeah. You made that as a unit. Yes. Complete, so you put the sandwiches on this background yeah. fabric, made all of that. Yeah. Then when you came, and you did, did, did your stitching. Yes. And then when you came to put it on here, you just had to stitch around the outside yeah. of there. Yeah, yeah. Right. Because obviously, because you've got all the bulk of it, yeah, you yeah. want to keep the sewing of the big thing to a minimum. Right. Um, and then these are a lot more manageable on their own. So this line of stitching here doesn't go through wadding. It only goes through the top fabric. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And then you put your wadding on yeah. once you've done all so that. So once I'd completed the top, um, I then sandwiched it together with the backing and the wadding. Right. And then I just literally did some um, long Straight stitch lines. lengths. Yeah. And I just, I didn't even draw a line on, I just followed the line of the gingham and just uh -huh. did straight ones down. I didn't go across. Yeah, you can do what you want um, up to that Yeah, up exactly. That point, yeah. I mean, you don't, you could just, um, you don't even need to put the binding or the backing on. You could just hem it and use it as a tablecloth yeah. or whatever well, no, you I wanted think it's really. Like, but also doing those straight lines, it means you've only ever got, you've not got bulk, you're not turning it around. Yeah, you're exactly. literally going straight up and down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <coughs> okay, so which bit are you gonna show us then? Okay, so we'll do some we'll do the strawberry plate okay, first. Lovely. Okay, so you take your um so first of all you take all your templates and you trace um however many I've said of each one um onto your bonder web. Okay. And then um you I'm gonna trace the i I'm just gonna do the strawberry stalk. Now when I do anything that's a plique that's got um sort of a lot of different pieces to it. I use a retractable pencil uh -huh. rather than keep using one that keeps going th um, thicker, you know, like a normal pencil and you wear the oh, yeah, down yeah, 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 and yeah. then you think, oh, I can't be bothered to sharpen it and then it all goes inaccurate. Yeah. Um, so I just use a retractable pencil for that. And then I'm just gonna trace around. And which side are you tracing onto? So right. I'm tracing the paper side, right, not okay. the webby side. Yeah. Okay. And the good thing about this is it's pretty like, it's a bit, it's forgiving. So sometimes when, you, like the cushion for later on, that's less forgiving with, with the accuracy of, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. of this. So, um, so yeah, so I've taken my piece of fabric. You'll obviously have your panel and cut them into the different swatches. Uh -huh. Look what Christina says. John, sister-in-law watching, says she loves this quilt, but would need to make the bottle bigger, says it all. <laughs> a magnum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only yours, isn't it? Nobody else got it. No, that's yours. I'd probably eat the whole lot of that myself oh, okay. as well. Fine. Okay, so then we're taking our um, coloured fabric. Yeah. What are we making? Am I, Strawberries. Am I doing it in the right place here, John? No, Sorry. you need to do it. Okay. Hang on, here. You need okay. to do it here. Where this is here. So move. That's it. I just keep dirty. it. You've got the dirtiest oh, mat you could grubby. possibly find. Hang on, hang on. Where's that little one gone? <laughs> Can you use this one? There you go. I better not do anything to that, do I? No, it's fine. Okay. So then I'm just positioning that on, and obviously you'll squid yours up a bit more. Oh, do you want it to off the thing? I'm not doing very well so far, am no, I? No, it's all right. Okay. And I'm just going to press that onto there. Uh, Jan's asked, can you machine ripstock? Yeah, I did. Yeah? Yeah. I yeah, agree. and I'd never used it before, so. Okay, no, yeah. no, you can do, you can. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut that out. Um, and then obviously people know how to cut out, it's pretty obvious, but um, wow. I find it easy just Paul, to keep no, the Paul, scissors. Paul, you, aren't you Paul? Oh, okay. We'll have to find out if he finds this interesting then. Yeah, don't um, you be flirting so... with Paul now. <laughs> Is he the one that showed me round? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, so told me she was showing you round. She was going to, but she didn't. Oh, that's fickle. She delegated. Um, so what you want to do when you're cutting out a complicated shape is keep your scissors still and just rotate the fabric around. Yeah. Um, which makes it easier. Okay. Yeah. So we're just going to cut that out. I learnt that off Janet Clare when I used to watch her years ago. Yeah. Yeah. You called her old. <laughs> She'll be watching. <laughs> She hasn't replied to my message or anything. Hasn't she? No. Imagine you Depends. never replied to them. I do. Eventually, yeah. Get out of it. <laughs> Get out of it. Okay, and then um, I'm just going to score the back of the paper there and peel that away. Right so that's there. nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do now is, so you do that with all of your bits and pieces. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, there's a template in here for your plates. So a template for your one plate. A template for your one plate. plate. So that is... Yeah, there you go. Okay. So what I've done is there's like um, a solid line and then a dashed line. So the solid line is the one that you cut your bonder web out of. And then with the dashed line, this is all in there, obviously, so you don't yeah. have to remember all this. Um, you just cut, you just trace the dashed line out. Right. Out just a normal piece of paper. And then you position that in the middle like that. And then you can draw around that and stitch uh, around you to make it paper look like that, yeah you? you could yeah yeah, yeah you could um, so you do that with the big plates and the little plates now with the little plates I was thinking after I'd done it you probably don't need to do that for that I think yeah. it just makes it look a bit too busy so that's optional um, but it does work better with the larger plates. yeah of course it does, and with yeah. these larger plates you're going to have some bits and bobs left over because of the way the the panel set up. Some have got more fabric than others. Um, so you could put some food onto the plates as well to yeah, make yeah, it look yeah, a yeah. bit more interesting. Okay. I think it'd be quite nice if you've got kids to actually put it, put the real knife and fork and the real plates on where you've put the plates Yeah, there. yeah, definitely. Yeah. There was a lady who um, put a message on Facebook and she said she was going to get one for a nursery. Um, oh, so they could nice, all like go yeah. outside and have a picnic because it's jubilee yeah. isn't it and uh, everybody will be outside doing things with the people in the streets and you stuff. made any bunting for your village yet me yeah. no okay so what i've done is i've got all those bits there and what you need to do with these plates oh hang on i need to, oh, oh, to sew on. it don't i no not yet yeah i do what, okay what, what? I need to sew that bit around there. Yeah, you do. Just do it properly. Everything comes with the spots on on the panel and everything, doesn't it? The strawberry yeah. fabric. Just find it. Blue is the most popular so far. Yeah, yeah, the strawberry fabric comes with little strawberry seeds on it. Yeah. Okay, so I've just used a friction pen there. Yeah. To draw around that and I'm just gonna literally just stitch around there which is really easy they're not boiled eggs they're scotch eggs <laughs> uh, you're very mean with your sausage meat <laughs> aren't you because normally a scotch egg you cut it open and the eggs just a little one in the middle like a quail's egg is it <laughs> No, there's vegetarian scotch eggs though. I just picked all the stuff that I like to eat. Oh, did you? Yeah. Yeah, where's the crisps? Oh, there's the crisps there. Yeah, what's in the sandwich? Lettuce and tomato. Yeah, I was going to I was gonna do like ham or something, but then it just got a bit complicated. Isn't, isn't that, Paul thinks that looks like turkey sticking out the bread. <laughs> green? No, not the green. <laughs> yeah, Paul wants turkey. So with this, yeah. on the back of the plate, I've still got the paper on it. Oh, okay. So you mean the bonder web? Yeah. Yeah. So I've still got the paper on my bonder web. Yeah. And I've <laughs> wrote leave on so I could remember <laughs> not to take it off. <laughs> anyway, so, um, so you do that. Now, if you want to do it free motion, um, you could go around a couple of times and make it kind of look a bit sketchy. Yeah. So it's completely up to you. Mm -hmm. So you leave the back on your plate yeah and then you take your papers off your strawberry pieces right. okay and then i'm just going to position those on randomly and you can overlap them or whatever you want to do when, when you pour your cream on won't the cream all spill off the plate <laughs> i'm not sure i'd take cream on a picnic wouldn't you no i've, I've been on a picnic for years in fact, I don't think I've been on a picnic since I lived in London. You'll have to start getting into it. You can yeah, borrow that if you want. That's fine. <laughs> um, I haven't got four friends. Oh. Um, and no, Anna's not coming. She's never invited me into her house. She's not coming to mine. Yeah. 
Okay, so okay. I'm just going to get the hot iron now and press those on. See, um, Kat says she wouldn't be able to see her. She, when, Kat has sugar, when Kat brings strawberries in, she literally has a bowl of sugar and puts four strawberries on the top. It's all, it's like <laughs> My kids cereal. do that as well. Yeah. I used to do that as well. I'm just like, yeah, yeah I'm the same. Oof. Okay, so what we're going to do now, you can do this with a normal standard foot or you can do it with a free motion foot. Yeah. It's completely up to you because they're, they're quite big pieces anyway. Is just stitch around, um, stitch around each piece uh -huh. okay so I'll just I'll just do round a strawberry because otherwise it's gonna get a bit dull oh uh, yeah everybody thank you for all your lovely messages I'm absolutely fine I wouldn't be here if I wasn't it's just that my voice isn't just working but I'm absolutely fine thank you there are only 20 of the blue ones left now And then when you're going round a corn, um, right, round a curve, yeah. you just do a few stitches, lift the foot and then rotate it a little bit. Right. Otherwise you can tend to pull it, especially when you're doing it onto the background fabric because yeah. you don't want it all puckered. Okay. So I did, um, I did mine in a dark grey thread mainly throughout um, right but then i did like some orange on there yeah you didn't some... do your strawberries in gray no did your strawberries in red i think i started off doing them in different colors oh, okay then got bored then <laughs> gave up changing the threads all the time okay so once you've stitched all those on yeah you then turn it over and you score the back and peel it away and this is really easy to peel away because your stitches will have made perforations as well there's only two metres of the royal blue ripstock left. So you know. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Making this look uh, yeah <laughs> harder than it is for some reason. Okay, and then just cut away any like loose threads you've yeah. got because you don't want them sticking through. And then the way I did it was, um, you need to so lay it out yeah so you made all your bits first yeah so i made all of the bits i laid it out on the floor put the bits where i wanted to took a photo of where i wanted them and then i pinned like the center ones on stitched those on right. and then just kind of worked out that isn't officially true i put these plates on first right okay <laughs> so and ignore then that did last the middle. Bit. yeah ignore that last bit right so um what you need to do is um you take the width of your fabric you fold it in half and you put a little bit of a crease there so you know where your plates right. are going okay. okay and then do what i've just said um just doing the individual uh -huh. bits but it's totally up to you if you wanted a row of plates and knives and forks like a buffet yeah you could do it like that yeah. couldn't you a buffet okay so we'll have a go at the i'll show you how to do the prosecco bottle okay brilliant. okay so again with it, this I'm leaving the paper move on. me a little bit. Sorry. Yeah, I'm leaving the paper on yeah. the back of this. So you're basically using that as a base. So anything you've got as a base, leave the paper on. Uh -huh. It says in the instructions each individual thing anyway. Okay. So, um, what have I done with my scissors? They're underneath, are they underneath your pressing mat? Oh yeah, thank yeah. you. Okay, so I've done, so I've got the label there and I'm just gonna get, take the back off that. I'm just going to stick that on there. So you don't do the um, writing on the label yet? No, because otherwise you'll get rid of your friction pen marks oh, when you press it on. Okay. Got a question for you. Morning, Victoria and John. Do you Morning. mind if I ask what ripstock is? 
Pam in Cheshire. Right, rib stock, very quickly, sorry. Rib stock, we call it. Um, it's a polyester fabric, which is waterproof. Um, it, it's very good for the insides of makeup bags and things like that. And it's literally, um, I don't know how else to describe it really. You can make pencil cases out of it. You can make all sorts of things like that out of it. Or swimming, uh, swimming costume bags. And you know immediately when you touch it, it's, if you can hear it, it's a bit rustly, but you can machine it. And you can wash it. Um, and it's basically a waterproof fabric that you can put on the back of quilts or the back of cushions and things like that. That was the orange one I was just showing you there. Okay, sorry Victoria, carry on. Is it nylon? Is right, it nylon? That... Oh, I thought it was polyester. Oh, What's it, it made of? Know. We're looking up now. Oh. Okay, so um, I've just written on whatever you want to write on. Right. You don't have to put that if you don't want to. No. And then I just literally, you could, um, you could hand stitch it if you wanted. So if you were going to hand stitch that, I would perhaps take the take the backing off so it didn't pull your stitches when you pulled it away oh yeah um or you can just free motion it on the machine or do whatever you want really you don't even have to write anything on there if you don't want to and then i just stitched around oh where are you going i'm going it <laughs> she'll get the hang of it and then i just stitched around the edge and then and then did that on and then removed the back and then the top for the cork you just um just take the back off that and then we'll stick that on in a minute okay if you are a bit of cork fabric, maybe use that. Yeah. yeah. Let's get very excited at that thought. <laughs> okay. She's very into her crafty then, making at the moment. And then you could also use things like this for, um, like if you wanted to make a wine sleeve or oh, yeah. um, a, what do you call it, cool bag or anything like that. Yeah. You could put some bits on. So. Or oh, what you could do, if you got, oh, I don't know what the kid is, but you could make a wine bag that's attached to the thing and then the bottle as a stuffed toy that sat inside yeah. the wine cooler. Yeah. You can make 3D strawberries with Velcro on them. <laughs> Get carried away now. <laughs> and um, this, I was thinking this would look quite nice. It's like napkins. Oh, with yeah. Maybe like a strawberry in the corner. Oh, yeah. If you, you only do the whole. Add that on yeah. and whatever. So. We're going to stick these down now. So again, like I said, Here you go. position Cat. them all. Cat's got the definitive um, description oh, okay. of ripstop. Oh. Here we go. Oh, blimey, she made, made a thing. It is 100% polyester. Thank oh, you. Oh, sorry. That's all right. I'm sorry. Uh, can I can have it on the big screen, please. Sorry. It's all right. Uh, thin and lightweight, naturally water repellent fabric. Ripstop is a strong fabric due to the cross pattern of polyester threads woven into the pattern this makes it ideal for flags banners Ooh. all flags yeah. uh, bags play tents lightweight water repellent jackets I wouldn't wear a jacket out of it because I think it might be a bit sweaty <laughs> cool oh cool hand wash lying dry do not tumble yeah because it come out all crinkly yeah. if you tumbled it wouldn't it yeah test, thank you cat test a small piece first should do that with everything really shouldn't you what? Test a small piece first. Yeah. How often <laughs> do you do that? I do it all the time. Oh, do you? Yeah, only because I'm scared that I won't have enough fabric to do it in. <laughs> okay, so position them on and you want to make sure they're really stuck down well. So like I said, if you've got a if you've got a big machine and you just want to go straight with the wadding and backing on, you uh -huh. can at this point. Um, you could put, if you don't feel confident enough, you could put some um, fusible interfacing on the back if you wanted, uh -huh. but it's, it, it is pretty substantial, so you shouldn't really have too much of a problem. Well, you won't have, I didn't have any problems, so. Uh, Julie says, I line my grandson's backpack with grip stop, even put a zippered pocket inside. It's easier to sew than you think. Yeah. Mr. and Pat, hi, use grip stop to make a flag. To find my tent at a festival. That's a good Ooh. idea. Yeah. Better tell Rebecca Reed that she's off to Glyme, not Glyndebourne. Where she goes? Glastonbury. Well, Glastonbury. <laughs> Bit <Glyndebourne>. different. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Rebecca Reed goes to Glyndebourne somehow. <laughs> and then I'm just going to stick his cork on the top. Okay. So I mean, it is it is super easy, and you don't have to worry about bits joining up properly and all yeah. that sort of thing. And then. Um, 
I'm just going to, if you're using the um, wadding with it straight off, you are going to need to put your walk, put a walking foot on. Right. Um, but I'm just using a standard foot because I'm not using any wadding. Now we've got a walking foot for that machine coming up later. Open toed and closed toe. In 12 o'clock hour, that is, in the sewing machine hour. Becky's going to come on and do a demo on the um, Atelier 9 embroidery thread, embroidery machine. Oh, look, Claire's machine wash strip stock at 30 degrees with no problems. Well done. Uh, oh, now Margaret says her Gemini's just arrived. She's on holiday this week, so she's not doing any, ho um, any housework. Mine didn't arrive, I had to collect mine. Yeah. I've got the purple one, not the pink one as well. She's very concentrating. She's got a concentrating <laughs> face on. Okay. Yeah. So then you've got your plate done. Lovely. Okay. So, um, and then I'll just show you how I went about, because sometimes if you're not into quilting or patchwork, yeah. you might not necessarily know how to do this. No, no, that's fine. Obviously, a, a plique is pretty straightforward. Uh -huh. So, this is the way I would sandwich a quilt or uh, how I did this right. okay so I got my wadding yeah not in stock at the moment dog hair and um, I lay that down sometimes if it's really creased I just give it a little bit of an iron but you want to be careful you don't take too much of the loft out yeah right? exactly, it doesn't yeah. really yeah. make that much of a difference um, so I lay this down on my carpet and I like smooth it out. So it kind of has got a bit of a grip to the carpet. Right. Okay. Then I put my backing on. So whether it's this or um, like normal quilting fabric. Yeah. So I position that on top, spread that out nicely. And then I pull it back halfway. Right. Okay. Then I get my 505 spray. Which I think we're out of stock of at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. And just spray down one side uh -huh. then smooth it out is there a right side and a wrong side to the ripstop I, I don't think so no no okay not that i know of and then i then so that, that side will be stuck yeah and i then fold that back and, and spray do that, that side. if it's a full size quilt like this yeah, one yeah yeah and then you want to get your hands as flat and, and as big as you can and just smooth it out right. so sometimes you can start getting like um bits like that but because it's rem removable and temporary you can just pull yeah. it that's it and yeah, yeah. Um, you can just pull it off and re redo right, it okay. okay so when that's on that'll be stuck down right then i turn that over right Again, now why is your rip stop bigger out. than you're wanting okay so when you um so let's put this one on a second right and i'll be able to explain oh they're all better. different sizes yeah so you want this is how you want to do it right with any quilt so again, then I would do the same again. Uh huh. And then that side, and then you've got it all sandwiched together. Then Lovely. now at this point, you can you can put some um, pins, like curved quilting pins, if you want, just as an extra um, security. Uh -huh. but you don't have to do that. If you and want does to. the rip stock alright with pins going through it then? Um, I don't. I don't think I did it. I don't think I put pins right, on okay. this actually because it was pretty. It was pretty good at sticking yeah, yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. So you probably wouldn't need to do pins on this, but on a normal. But on quilt, a normal quilt, yeah, you would do. Yeah. yeah. Now the reason why you have your so your quilt tops or whatever is smaller than your wadding and then your backing, because when you're quilting it, sometimes it can kind of like pull sort of underneath. 
So when you come to the end, you're, if they were all the same size, some of this stuff might have gone underneath. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Um, so you'll lose some of your size. And if you've got a pattern or anything, then that can obviously be a problem. Yeah. Um, so that's that. So once you've done that, you um, don't do anything with the edges yet. You want to quilt it before you trim anything off. Right. Okay, so again, I just went up and down. I, I just went up and down um, a few, like six inches apart, or okay. whatever it was. Okay, so once you've got that done, and another thing I'd say, always quilt from the center outwards. Right. Because if you quilted from the outside and then did the middle bit, you might have a bit of like yeah. extra, and it just doesn't look very good. So we'll always start in the middle and work outwards. Right. So you would so on that one, you would have stitched right down the middle of that blue yeah. gingham. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. not going over the bottles and the plate. No, I yeah. just went up to the edge. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else can I tell you about? What was, what's going to say about quilting then? I don't know. It's completely. Got some questions for you if you want to stop for a question. <laughs> okay. Uh, what size stitch you use for the applique? Um, I just used a uh, 2.4, the standard one. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, We can Irene. go a bit smaller if you want on the smaller bits. Ripstock makes terrific tote bags which fold out to almost nothing, or fold up to almost nothing, yeah. and tuck away into your handbag. Made loads last Christmas. Love Victoria's demos from oh, Mo in the Highlands. Ah, oh. Another one very quickly. Uh, John, could you send a big shout out to your customer services? Notifications of delays are really appreciated, even though we've had an Easter break. Oh yeah, Carolyn, they're brilliant, aren't they? They're upstairs, they're listening. They are listening. Always listening. <laughs> they what? Oh, and they let us in when we forget our fobs. I haven't forgotten my fob yet. Cat's lost hers already. They're five pounds <laughs> each, you know, when you have to pay for new ones. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, and another thing to say, which I've made this mistake before, um, what well, is when you're doing the quilting, don't be tempted to do like a couple of rows and then go round the edge and trim it off and because you think, oh, it's going to look better. Um, you want to quilt all of it first because otherwise, again, you can get into, it just ends up a complete disaster. <coughs> okay. So don't do that. Lovely. Okay, so I've quilted it all. Yeah. And I've just whizzed round the edge. Yeah and um, then you just trim it off. We're not doing size. that then, are we? No, I don't, okay. I don't think so. All right then. What can we do now? I'll show you how to make the strap. Yeah. Okay. So that's that, pretty okay. much. That's quite straightforward, isn't it? Yeah, we haven't bound it yet though. I don't think I'm gonna have time to do that. Okay, we can talk through that, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's a funny little laugh. <laughs> Right, what's this then? Okay, so this is what's left of, um, so, so from your binding fabric, right. you're going to cut your strips of binding. And there's enough in this bundle to, oh, this is the binding, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. you're going to cut your, I think it's six strips, Yeah. so you cut those, and then you'll have um, some left over, which is going to, I haven't cut them all off this, right. so you'll have about five inches left. If you've got a bit less than five inches, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Okay. So, for your strap, you just use whatever you've got left and make sure just it's cut square. Yeah. Okay, I'll just hack a bit off here. I'll just trim the edge off. What, what? You just, just keep going. Myself. I didn't get my bowls of water, did I, for my humidity? So imagine this is the full width of your yep. um, fabric. Yeah. And then we're going to press it. You're going to roll it up? Yeah. Oh. And we're going to press it in half. Right. Okay. Sorry. And then again, so I've opened that out and I'm going to press. <laughs> <laughs> Singe the hairs on me all. Do um, I? Did I get you? No, oh. I'm only joking. Um, so I'm going to press the raw edge into the centre fold. And I'm going to do that on both sides. Uh huh. Okay. 
Lovely. Okay, and then, and then you take the ends. Yeah. Fold well, we them do. in. Mm -hmm. Look at her checking that Paul's got the right shot before she starts her ironing. <laughs> it took me took me two years in the other place to realise which camera to look in. Now it's totally <laughs> thrown me now. And then the other end. Oh, hopefully you've got more changes happening soon. So next time you come in, it might be different oh, again. No. And then you just fold that over. Message from Michelle. Have ordered the picnic blanket in red. The kids, I child mind, will love having their oh, picnic on it. Oh, that's Michelle. Nice. <laughs> I just think as a child, it must be so exciting when you see something like this come out. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a fab idea for indoors and outdoors. The ripstop fabric would prevent skill, spills onto carpets yeah, at teddy idea. bear picnics. Yeah. Good idea. Yeah. Because yeah, you, you could can't use it as always... like a play mat. <coughs> yeah, you can make you a play mat, but also food on it. you can't it'd be awfully say to the kids, oh, on Monday we're going to go for a picnic and then come to play school on Monday and it's raining. You still have the picnic indoors, yeah, can't yeah, you? Yeah. Okay, so I've just folded those ends up <coughs> and then you just need to um stitch just stitch around right. rectangularly yeah and then you've got that we're having an indoor picnic after the show today so we can take this upstairs <laughs> for our pizza right and how do i use up? it then yeah okay so i think i better move that oh why what's happened oh um andy lynn it's not paul's fault it's the it's the camera's fault we are so there are two more changes to happen. Oh, do you want me to move? Sorry. So I'll just fold it into three. With bow, let's have a bow on it then. <laughs> is there any way? Oh, that's gorgeous! Is not here? Is there any way that could be incorporated into the binding? You probably could. Yes, you, you could. I'm just thinking. Yeah, you could. But then it means that when you're having your picnic, it means you can. Might, this yeah. might be flappy yeah. around him, won't it? But just yeah, you can work. do what you want with it. What could it be? Just trying to think now how you can incorporate into the design. Yeah. Have like yeah. a belt loop or something. Yeah. And anyway, um, Kat says she'd have, have to get four weights for the corners, of which Paul said he would buy four bottles of Prosecco for her. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Get four people to sit on them. I'll get four people to sit on it. Mind you, if you've got cats to sit on here, me to sit on here, there's not much of the blanket left, is there? <laughs> uh, right, is there anything else I need to ask you? Oh, very quickly, we've only got a couple of minutes. Can you just explain? Do you do the binding as part? Oh, no, it's, not, it's completely separate, isn't it? You haven't yeah. got a piece of it here, have you? But No, but um, in... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. in here, you'll get all the... Am I turning it? No, you're keeping it I'm towards keeping it you. Way. There, put it on there. there that's, okay. it, that's it, that's it. Um, so you get all the instructions which show you how to, because obviously you'll, your um, two and a half inch strips are going to be like 43 inches wide yeah. or whatever. So you have to join those together. Um, so they're not all bulky round where you've joined them as well. So it shows you in there how to join them on the diagonal, um, how to attach it and how to do the, join the ends because Sometimes, if you're not doing like them on a weekly basis, which most people sort of aren't, then oh. um, you forget how to do it, don't you? So that's got all the diagrams in, and I've used um, a pattern fabric as well, so that you can, if you're using pattern fabric, you can know which way is the right side and wrong side. Fab. Um, so that's it, really. Brilliant. See yeah. you back in an hour's time. Yeah. No. No. Are we still you're going? back in four minutes. Okay. Yeah, you're, only, you're not here for the whole hour, don't worry. Okay. Because we're going to talk about your Seminole cushions, your... What? Seminole. Is that what they're called? Seminole, I think. Semolina. <laughs> uh, the little houses and just dip and st 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 stitch and flip cushions. Yeah. Which you've lost. 
Got a question. Hi, John, does the pattern come with the kits or is it just in the panel? No, 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 I'll tell you now. I'll tell you now. Uh, you don't have to chase anything, Christine. I'll go through everything for you now. <coughs> right, which one first then, Kat? Red. So that's this one. So if you want to make this one, the front of this one, you get this bundle, which Christine has the instructions and the templates and your binding instructions in there. So you get all of that, you get a metre and a half of that, you get half a metre of this, and the whole of this enormous panel. Right? Yeah, you'd have to do cupcakes if you don't want to. If you, don't, if you think, oh, I don't have scotch eggs at mine, that's common. <laughs> and olives, a bowl of olives. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. I'm ever so hungry. <laughs> Bowl of olives. What else would we have? Hang on, what? Oh, he wants hang, hang on. Hanky Hello, panky. Hey. Paul wants hanky panky at <laughs> his picnic. Oh, anti pasty. <laughs> well, and a bit of hanky panky wouldn't go amiss, would it, really? But anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you get all of this. Now, the only thing you don't get is if you want to wad it. You don't get the wadding and you don't get a backing. <clears throat> but if you don't want to spend any more money, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> if you don't want to spend any more money, don't quilt it, just hem it and use it as a tablecloth. Yeah, and you need the bond web as well. Oh, yeah, and you need bond web, yeah, of course. Bond. And the other colourway is this. Oh, we don't do pattern PDFs, I'm afraid. Pardon? I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to them at home. <laughs> Rita, did you say? I know Rita always asks about PDF patterns. We don't do them yet, and I don't know why. It's only, 20, it's only 2022, isn't it? <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue how to do it. Do what? I wouldn't have a clue how to do one. Oh, well, no, in that case, <laughs> that's why we haven't done it. Most popular is the blue one. Oh, there are some instructions left on their own. I think, uh, they shouldn't be 9.99, though, should they? At uh, 9 99 old oh, Paul's trying to set up the whole new new way of running the company now. <laughs> Are you coming to stay then, Paul? You wouldn't want what? No, because Bruce could, would like to go back next door. Does he? Oh, he's tried to smile in once or twice then, shouldn't he? 9 99 Message for a collector in Yorkshire. Thanks, John. I'm having a red one. Christine still oh. in sunny Leeds. Oh, good for you. Good for you, Christine. <laughs> oh, I've got messages. Uh, hi, both. Good to see Victoria Hello. back on our screens. It's been too long. She's inspirational. Oh, thank She's you. She's lazy. That's what she is. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way we're good friends, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to make some felt food. Don't eat it. Oh. And Velcro it so the children that's... can interact with the picnic blanket too. That's, that's, that's my light bulb moment. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, oh, Michelle, yeah, that's brilliant. Just make sure they don't get the real sausage muddled up with the Velcro sausage, that's all. Oh, we're not going through the ripstock. All the ripstock is on the website. Well, and Bond Web. Now, that's only on the little... Is the, the roll sold out? There's a couple of rolls still left. Don't buy this. Don't buy this one. Buy the roll one. There you go. Not because it's more expensive. We're not trying to get you to spend more money. I'm just saying you'll, it's more um, economically viable to do that. Right, I better, you might be doing the whole of the, whole of the next hour on your own. What's well, happened to my voice suddenly? I'll see you with Victoria in four minutes. Are you ready, Paul? From now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our website, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store.
And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. the live show don't worry we recorded it for you never miss out on your favorite presenters guests and makes ever again head on over to our youtube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again we also have lots of great content exclusive to our youtube pages such as product demonstrations troubleshooting videos and so much more Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. I've got loads and loads and loads to show you this hour. I just want to re, I just want to say thank you to all the lovely messages. I was just saying in the break there, there's no pain. I don't feel ill or anything. It's just something that's going like a turkey's wobble or whatever it's called, wattle. That's all that's happening. And hopefully, it's better to say than it was just the day before. So hopefully when I go home today, I won't talk. I mean, tomorrow, won't talk after. And then I've got a week off, just over a week off. So it's fine. I'll be fit as fiddle. Right, okay, let's, I will do I'm doing jewelry make on Saturday. I forgot about that, I'm doing jewelry make on Saturday. Now, we love these. Didn't we do these at Sewing Quarter first? Or did we, no. the, the Stephanie Sewing no. Street? 
I just remember how gorgeous these are. Now it's pattern only. Sorry, I did what that lady does on the gem show in the evening, didn't I? Anyway, little electronic tea lights. We, we, now we've got, I don't think we've got them in stock at the moment. Yeah, hang on, let me get those in the right place. There you go. What, something's in the way. Oh, there you go, there you go. So you can make these with this, 9.99. So tell me, Victoria Carrington, what exactly are they? So these are like little tea light holders, I'm gonna say they've got holes in the windows yeah and you put um, a battery operated not a real one no, no. Can you imagine battery operated tea lights in it and then they obviously light up and right you can, they kind of flicker those battery yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Ones. so yeah so that's and it. what's it made out of so it's made out of um you can't remember the number of it are you now h250 H that's right um and yeah they're really easy to do great for scraps because um, they only need obviously they... really small bits of fabric. Oh. Can you see it? Drop the lights, cat. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Have I put it in the right one? <laughs> <laughs> the battery's I a bit low on that one. On oh that no, one. look how it. <laughs> You're not going to be able to see that. Lights oh, back Paul. up, sorry. Um, what day do we do these on, Cat, please? Because they're quite simple to make, yeah, aren't they? they are. Oh, it could be because we did a bundle, that's why. So the small, you are small, a medium and a large house. In capital letters, please note these are used for battery-operated lights, not real ones. Who's that little child in a bed there? Alice. My oh. Um, anyway, you will need different pattern fabrics. Uh, the Visaline H250 fusible interfacing and some stitch and tear. What do you need the stitch and tear for? You wrote it. <laughs> She's looking at I me going, remember. you don't need stitch and tear. <laughs> You'd, I wouldn't have put it on there if you didn't need and it. And Bonderweb. Yeah. But it's only little tiny bits. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's because I've got kind of two ranges of patterns. So there's that's the Simply Handmade one, which is um, more simple projects yeah um so they're the smaller patterns right and then um which was the bigger the other patterns, patterns are just it? my normal ones so yeah. okay 9.99 they're cute aren't they okay message from tracy oh. <laughs> stuck in traffic don't care my adjuster forms just arrived oh pff. stuck in traffic but don't care my adjuster forms just arrived so where's your adjuster form at home and you're stuck in traffic <laughs> Tracy, you're weird. <laughs> uh, Michelle. Oh, I'm so excited. Just a text. Tell me my Elna 680 will be delivered tomorrow. I ordered it on Thursday. Wasn't expect... Was I in on Thursday? Wasn't expecting it to be so quick because of Easter. Oh, Michelle, how exciting. You'll love it. You'll love it. Right, that's there yours. Thank you. And that's mine. Right, next... Seminole cushions. What did I just trip over then? Nothing. There's nothing there. <laughs> right, these are gorgeous. These are beautiful. I'll show you. Shall we hold it up for you? 9 99 these again. Just the instructions, obviously. But look at these. Now, you'd look at these, wouldn't you think, oh, I can't do that. That's too intense, all those little pieces. Why should I show you the other one as well? Because you get both patterns in there, don't you? Yeah. You get both patterns yeah. for your 9 99 But just explain how you do them, because it's not lots and lots and lots of little pieces. No, it does it? look like really complicated, but it's basically just strips of fabric cut to different widths, stitch them together, and then cut them into different widths. Um, and it just makes the points really easy to go together. Um, so, yeah. But it also looks like you've done really, really intricate work. Yeah, actually, you it only, does. not only just, but you've sewn strips together. Yeah. It's just when you sew them together, you don't you have to do them in a funny. Yeah, exactly. So they're kind of like yeah. staggered. Yeah. And then because it's like you get all in the instructions, you're told which way to press the seams because that's quite important. So they all nest together nicely when okay. you join them. Um. So. <laughs> it's Cherry, my friend Cherry's just gone by the window. <laughs> and then I've put some like like a bit of 
sort of looks like piping on there and stuff just to kind of jazz them up it's a bit of flat it's flange though so it's not piping yeah yeah, yeah. that's yeah um so it's just like they're just sampler cushions yeah. so you get the idea of how, and then you could go on and use those for borders in quilts or yeah um anything like that so so yeah oh look a review beautifully well written pattern easy to follow and a beautiful design from Aww, diane that's thank nice you. These are all fifus. These are look. Never tried Seminole before, but this is a much. This is such a clear pattern to follow from Aww, Susan. Thank you. Yeah, One it, more. Uh, look forward to making this. The Seminole patterns look very effective and complicated, but Victoria Carrington's instructions are very good. Thank you. They're random people. We can't write those. No. There any bad ones? Oh no. Hang on. Question. Morning, John. What size cushion pad would you need for these? What? Oh, hang on. Well, let's measure it. Oh, hang on. It could say on I here. I think 12 by 20. Um, 2 12 by 20 yeah. cushion pads. It's not a good memory. I know. It's amazing. 12 by 20. Is that inches, yeah? Inches, yeah, obviously. Obviously inches. They're gorgeous, though, aren't they? Right, I'm going to put those back on the shelf. Finally, it's happening to me. Stitch and flip. Right, hang on. So that's mine. That's my So the pink one. Now, with somewhere in the building, these are. No, hang on. These are somewhere in the building. What date did we do them on? You can't see, you can't find them because they're a kit. It wasn't very long ago, was it? 10th of February, it was. No. March, April, two months ago. 24.99. Um, I think I recognised these from the John Scott show yeah, originally, yeah. weren't they? Yeah. 24.99 now what does this thing here mean flip and stitch okay so this is a really straightforward method where it's kind of stitching um quilt and what's it called quilt as you go yeah that's it yeah um where you cut your strips and then you put them straight onto your wadding oh, okay um so you're stitching them on and you're flipping them back right and then stitching the next one on and flipping them back and okay. it comes together really quickly okay and, and then what's those triangles and those are called prairie points right and um, which are really easy to do and then you can jazz them up with buttons or put like an <laughs> i know you love buttons you like the next one don't won't you on um it's got loads of buttons oh on i that didn't one. even notice that one um or put like little cross embroidery thread uh -huh. bits on so yeah so this is a kit this isn't just your instructions this here you get these beautiful fabrics four fat quarters from lewis and irene they've got the metallic in them yeah. as well they're lovely. Sorry, do you want me to hold them up or are you going to go above? Oh, there you go. Oh, he's going to go above in a second. There you go. There you go. It looks a mess, doesn't it? And then half me to the pink, yeah? Gorgeous. Why are there two bags in that lot there? One's what? Yeah, yeah, but there's two bags. There's no... Oh, what? Anyway. anyway. Right, I'll put it all together then. Teal. I'll do it from upstairs. So here's your um, instructions. Then you get your half a meter of your. Is that Kaday or is it? Yep. Yeah. And then these are gorgeous. I love the blue ones. Look, the pairs are like bronzy on that one. Flares. And then that one's got that one there. That's weird that that's come up in. That's a bag and that's in a bag. Anyway, I won't worry you with our. Derek says, good morning, Victoria, John and gang. Just Hello. pop in on to hear if John's voice is surviving. Just, just about. Uh, Anne Bentley says, good morning, John, Victoria and team. Hello. Hello, she says. No, not you, Becky, she's mentioning you. <laughs> $24.99. Instructions on their own. Very, very popular. Very, very popular. Stitch and flip. $9.99 beginners one that beginners project yeah. right uh 16 by 16 that cushion's finished uh you then need three fat quarters four fat quarters and some plain fabric for the cushion back. yeah beautiful lovely easy technique if you've got to make a present for somebody you've only got a morning to do it or craft fairs or what craft fairs can, can i make and sell yep 
Okay, so look into that camera. What's your angel policy? Um, so basically, if you want to make anything on a small scale and sell them like at fairs or craft shows or whatever, you can do. That's absolutely fine. But not m m no. mass producing? No. no. Also, we ask you not to photocopy the pattern because that's how she puts food on the table for her two starving children. <laughs> um, and um, if you do make them, just say, oh, they're from a Vic Victoria Carrington design, really. Yeah, that would be nice. That's nice, yeah. just do that. Yeah, All right? Thank you. So now, you can go now, but Thanks. before you do, yeah. I need to do, the, just grab that, grab that, hold that, and display that to your camera. This is the original one that you made at home in your own fabrics. Yeah. I can see some bijou in there. Yeah. That purple's definitely bijou, yeah. isn't it? Right? Yeah. So this is made with these. your own fabrics. Yeah. But yeah. we've done a panel, haven't we? Yeah. So there's a panel for this one, which is the ivory background with a pastel. Yeah. And there's also um, a, like a royally blue colour with some bold petals on. And which, which one do you think really I'll nice. like the best? I think you'll like the bold best. Yeah. I'm so obvious, aren't I? Yeah. You're uh, bold, I'm pastel. Oh, really? Uh, mine wouldn't have <laughs> buttons on it either. No. Um, right, and you can buy the pattern on its own as well. They're all on pre-order already if you want to start, get them now. Yeah. And what are you saying, Kat? Oh, blue's the most popular so far. Mm. 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 Anyway, thank you, Victoria. Thank you. you go and have a sit down now. Okay. Put that back on the shelf. Don't take yep. that home. Okay. Um, oh, I would give you those, but I'll have an empty set of it. Give you those. I'll give you those <laughs> later. Right, okay. Let's just do this thing. So I'm just going to be helpful with Becky, so if Becky can start packing up. Oh no, one of the Alice Carolines is sold out. Which one? Block five. Right, I've only now got, you'll remember this, right? Because we had a whole quilt of these, right? Now, these are the only two we've got left. Make gorgeous cushions. Beautiful, beautiful cushions. If you've already done the quilt and you think, oh, I'd like a couple of cushions in the bedroom to go with, go with the quilt, um, I was about to shout to Victoria Carrington, but it's somebody you should know better. Um, number six first, did you say? Oh, yeah, number six first. This one is called Mitzi Valeria Sky. Now, it's not a drag queen. Oh, Kat, Kat's really into it at the moment because they're doing a new um, RuPaul's Drag Race, aren't they, with all the winners. Is it winners from all over the world? UK and America. Mary Dean says, morning from Mum Mary. She's just got up. She's recovered from a shoulder surgery. She hopes you recover quickly from your laryngitis. And um, Kerry, I hope Mary gets better from her shoulder. That's far more serious than me with a bit of a sore throat. But I haven't even got a sore throat. Raspy, sexy voice. This is beautiful. Gorgeous. And where are they then? Okay, $24.99. Gorgeous. Final one, this is the final one left now. This one's Mitzi Green. Wasn't there, a, wasn't there a RuPaul Drag Race called something green? And she was poorly the first year, so came back the next year and got sent home straight away or something. Yeah. Anyway, oh! Twenty-four ninety-nine. It's what's matter. Wow, that's a real claim to fame. Vix knows somebody who knows somebody who knows Victoria Green. Yeah, Veronica Blue. Twenty. No, it's Blue Hydrangea that was on last night, wasn't it? Get very confused. Anyway, look, this just makes this lovely. So I'm just going to take a slurp of my tea so I can be ready to do the next one. Fruity tea. Oh, that's nice. Righty-o, moving on. Which one? Garden birds. Now these are gorgeous. They're amber makes and they're about this big, aren't they? And you can use them as a door. I'll show you a picture, show you this picture, here you go. There are three different birds of the range. Oh, hey, that one, sorry. You coming to this one, Bex? Is your earpiece not working? There you go, there you go, there you go. So which one am I doing first? What number's that? Okay then. Oh, okay, I just have to open them. It's just over there, um, I've just got codes on them at the moment. 
Um, is that the right one? Yep. So you get the panel and you get the instructions. You will need uh, stuffing. And if you're going to make a door stop, you will need weights. Were they? <laughs> stop giving me false information. She's trying to trip me up now, everyone. Have we got a picture? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, I'm sorry we haven't got them here. Um, Rebecca Reed took them home. No, no. They used to be in my dressing room at the old place. But anyway, you get the instructions. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. So really, you're getting the instructions for free, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you make, you, the panel makes one big bird and two... Big bird, do you remember? And two little birds, right? For fourteen ninety nine, And you get the instructions. And the instructions, as per usual with Amber Makes, are very, very... Th oh, there you go, that's a better picture. Oh, look. But that's the one we're looking at. So he's called Bertie. But it's near Mum. Shouldn't it be Barbara? Do they? Do the dads look after babies as well? Are you sure? I know you sure. Yeah. Anyway, which one do you want next? Um, garden. Oh, Robbie Robin. There you go. Oh, do you know what? You know the film? The, I've met Robbie Williams at a party as well. It was really weird. It was at the a premiere party of La Cava, a big West End musical. Uh, and there was the party was in this huge... It was, they covered over a whole London square with a marquee and decorated on everything. And we walked in and everyone was like, it's Robbie Williams, Robbie Williams. And he walked straight over to me. Went, All right, mate. Started chatting away. It's like, you don't know me. You don't know me. Anyway, he said... Uh, and they started talking about the person whose party it was. I said, I think you're in the wrong party. This is the carver for the first night. He went, I'm in the wrong party. He went, see you, mate. And he went. Anyway, I can't do the filming for the Gary Barlow film, right? So the director sent me a message yesterday saying, I'm, I'll just tell you this. I'm totally gutted. And so is Gary. Anyway. Well. <laughs> Gorgeous. Anyway, that's your Robin. Do what? If they were coming from America, they would. Right, here you go. Gord and the Goldfinch next. I think this might be my favourite. I think so, yeah. Was it? It's only because there's one day a year and suddenly my garden is filled with like a hundred goldfinch. They come to the village for one day. They fly from garden to garden to garden and they disappear. We never see them again. 13th of February. Oh, um, yeah, have we, have we got the winners yet? Right, we have asked the marketing team for the winners' names. No ginger today, no Claire. I was told not to drink the ginger. No, no honey, because I had honey the other night and it completely clagged up my whole throat. Oh, it was frightening. Right, okay. Now, if you want all three, oh, I should have said this at the beginning, shouldn't I? If you want all three with the instructions, What? Oh, hang on, what's happened? What does that mean? Okay. I don't understand why she's stressing. She's stressing about something. Uh, oh, I see. Amber makes garden words trio. Why is it on split pay? Yeah, no, Kat, thank you, I'm acting. <laughs> So Kat's just explained why they're on split pay. So I went, oh, why are they on split pay? About to explain. Because John, I just said, but... Wait till she's got a new best friend. She'll soon come a cropper. 34 99 you can get it on split pay, 17 49 You get all three of them, plus the instructions. You only get one set of instructions, obviously. Seven, uh, 34 99 So how much should they be, then? 
So 42, 43, 45, 46 pounds then. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, now. Now, now, now. No, Claire, the thing is, it's not my schedule that's playing up, it's theirs. Because obviously they're, obviously, like all of us, are being very strict COVID-wise. We've moved, well, like, we've got all sorts, haven't we? Like Bruce is in today, who's usually our director, but he's next door. Uh, Paul's in here today, but he's normally next door in the morning. Cal's coming in tomorrow because um, Bex wants a day off. Oh, it's her day off. It is her day off. Where's Ka Oh, she's next door doing Hobby Maker on her day off. I don't know. I've not been asked to do Hobby Maker yet. Anyway, we will, and we will, uh, in the next break, Anne, we'll, we'll hassle them about the winners, I promise. That would have been the sight to see, wouldn't it, if they've got Hannah doing floor. Right. Lots of you got that in your basket. I'm sorry to confuse you about the split pay. It's not my fault, it's Kat's fault. Well, so hang on, so why are they allowed split pay on that price and we're not then? Oh, different, different company. Oh, I love these. I've not seen these before. They've been on once before. Vintage needle case. 23rd of March, Yvonne McAtamney. I'll show you see the front then. So it's like um, flying geese. It's cute, isn't it? How much is it? 14 99 That's a brilliant present, isn't it, for somebody? get everything in there you get your little you get your needles you get your ribbon i think there's some wadding in there as well does it say how lovely is that are there different needles or are they all the same needles in there no they're all embroidery needles gorgeous 23rd of march yvonne will have done a demo and she said, FPP in the middle. She hates FPPs. So you've got to give it a go, she says. <laughs> okay, and we've got it in blue. Oh, now it's a soft blue, very, very soft blue. Oh, they call it duck egg. They call everything duck egg, don't they? Oh, it is duck egg. Fourteen ninety nine. Eh, I don't know. If I could only I could win the lottery. Well, it depends how much I won. If I won three pound fifty, nothing. Fourteen ninety nine. I can imagine. Anyway, fourteen ninety nine. Keep going through for that. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Now, uh, if you're going to give us a gift, you're going to give it like that, or you're going to make it gift. I give it like that. Yeah. So would Paul. Mm. He said. Mm. Mm. Round old bags. Now I've got a sample of the bag here, but not in the fabric that we've got today. But this is just to show you. This is the uh, Angela Presley uh, design. Very chic. We um, found a tailor's ham in this one for some reason. Uh, look, there you go. You, you, make, yeah, you make your drawstring out of the fabric. With a little toggle or woggle. Isn't it called a woggle? No, it's a woggle if you're at Scouts. Is that the bit that goes up? I don't know if Scouts still wear them. The neckerchief, that's called your woggle. Thank you. Honestly, the youth of today know nothing, do they? Yeah, but you'll have done brownies in a sweatshirt, won't you? You won't have done brownies in a full-on uniform. Right, three. Red one first. Look at this, looks like I work in the post office, doesn't it? So this one, you get half a metre of your red cotton. You get, uh, oh, now, hang on. To a metre of your canvas, your fruity canvas. 
and a meter of your red PU plus your instructions. What's the matter with you, Paul? You're just realizing why Bruce gets so angry with the cameras now. Actually, they've made to put you here on purpose to make you realize how bad it is. That's eight ninety-nine. Gorgeous. Now you will need, you will need, you will need uh, fusible fleece, iron-on interfacing, and some rivets. Gorgeous. Moving on. Now I've got it. And now this um, tapestry fabric's new this season to us, isn't it? It's lovely. It looks like a stained glass window, this one. Look. Do you want me to hold it up? Oh, no. Right, 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 right. So you get your um, mink, half metre of cotton, one metre of black, black PU, one metre of the um, tapestry, and your instructions, £38.99. It looked lovely, isn't it? I think, in fact, wasn't this one she demoed in when she was in last? She was in on the 27th of March, launching her new book, sold out. Then her publisher sent me a copy this week. Yeah. I said, I said, um, I said, you know, I've just received a book. Do you like me to sign it? Well, it's too late, I've given it away. <laughs> no, I've given it to um, some children in the village who enjoy sewing. Well, I'm like that. Beautiful. I know, but aren't we expecting some, um, Oh, Ian's just walked past with his coat on, having a drink upstairs. What's he doing up there? No, that's maybe he's been called into the management office. Bit like Christmas morning, this. Well, my job, I'd be a bit, bit disappointed if that's how it was wrapped on Christmas morning. Right. Oh, I, no, I could, I could hear you. When I was watching the other day, couldn't I? Which one first? Right. This was first demoed on the 5th of August, 2021. It's a, it will hold an A3 size cutting board and a 24 inch quilting ruler. But look, it's brilliant this. I was on the day we did this. I think though this one, don't you need the other, don't you need the one with the extra bits in it? Oh no, 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 telling a fib, telling a fib. So look, you get your gorgeous cotton there with your mannequins and your dresses. Then you get your bright green spotty. We've got a picture of this. And then this is to make a pressing cloth with, a pressing board with. What's this bit here for then? I can have a look now. Oh no, that's where you make the bag to put the iron in. Because you also get an additional, look, pattern. Not bag with Luminex lining. That's that one. Right, and then this one here. I'm just checking. You got all the fabric you need. Don't think, don't think you need, oh, I can tell her on the back here. Here you go. Meter of outer fabric, meter of lining fabric, felt back Luminex, wadding. Here you go, you need wadding wadding and some webbing that's what you need to finish this off nice isn't it? that's beautiful that fabric there look oh what was that 
Oh, was it Vix? It kind of sounded like it was coming from your way, not my way. Oh, the, oh it's a bit early for the guests next door, isn't it? Beautiful. Oh, hang on. You don't need webbing because it's already in there. And there's your, your snap fasteners. I bet Alice Marion sits at home shouting at the telly going, it's got the webbing in it. Beautiful. So how much is that? 49.99? It says, look, it says instructions, Luminex, webbing and fabric fawn mannequin. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Got that in, is that in the centre of the colour? Yeah. Make sure I put it away properly. It's got fluff on it, that one. Second kit, this one. Oh, I like this one. Look. Same fabric, but in aqua. But then look at the pink lining. Love. And then you get all the other bits and bobs that you need in there. Plus your extra bit of fabric, plus your extra pattern, plus your pattern for the bag, plus your webbing, plus your poppers. There's a pin, be careful, that's a pin holding the poppers in place. Gorgeous. Do you know what? If somebody's in a musical, and they get laryngitis, it must be very frustrating. Yeah, no, it means someone else doing your part. I don't know, it means the understudies get to go on, but it must be very frustrating. Anyway, 49.99. Beautiful. Living in loveliness next. You say a number and I'll tell you if I've got it. Yeah, no, 182. Bees. Oh, look. It's got two stickers on it. I can't not rip this one, can I? Sewn with scraps. So there's three, there must be three patterns in there. Look, little tote bag, little fold over bag. Is that a wine bag in there? It'll tell me on the back, won't it? Emily, Ruby, and Karen. Which one did they name the wine after? You will also need, well, I think everything. Oh, hang on. All the bits and bobs are in there. What else will you need then? No, all you need is thread, a sewing machine, and a heat erasable pen. Everything else is in there. Look. So you get your fabric, your interfacing, more fabric. Oh, it's called Little Johnny, look. Little Johnny fabric. Oh, beautiful colours. I want to know what's in there. What's in there? Oh, it'll tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. One large button. Piece of ribbon. Yeah, that's it. Two pieces of ribbon. Two pieces of ribbon. Gorgeous, isn't it? So you can make a tote bag, the foldy over bag, or the wine bag for that. Gorgeous. So if Hayley's listening, Hayley could maybe chivvy up the, uh, uh, the winners. Next. I don't know, you need to tell me the number. Yeah. Same with scraps again. Oh, no, I haven't had to rip this one, look. Oh, look. Oh, it's the same kit, is it? Yeah, look. Pretty presents, but look at the colours in there. Lovely. It's not rain. Oh, it is rainbowy, I suppose, isn't it? Like, well, it's like, it's, it's not real red. Richard, Richard. 
Richard of your game. But it's not quite the right because there's no indigo in there, isn't it? But it's like more like unicorns' tails. Or, well, I don't know if I can say that because that's a brand, isn't it? But we do sell them, don't we? Paul thinks it's a bit like Care Bears. Care Bear fabric we've had in the past and panels. Lovely with the light blue in there as well. When you go off to the parties, the garden parties, take your wine or when you have to bring your own picnic, put it in your tote bag, you know, like bring the bread rolls. Or as Hannah would turn up with potatoes. Becky would put all her makeup in there, all her, what's it called, her zhuzh. You know, your, the stuff to make you browner. Do you not wear gloves when you do it? Because your face isn't brown. Her hands are very, very brown. And her arms are splodged. And her legs are sort of taupey coloured. Anyway, it's only 9 Gorgeous. Now, I'm a little bit worried because my extra things for this hour haven't arrived yet. Okay, moving on. Oh, maybe that's where Ian was going with his coffee. He was going towards the big, big, big man's office. Yep. This one's just a cardboard box. There we go, there we go, there we go. More wine. Oh, this is the one that looks like panties. Oh, I love that fabric. Look at that gorgeous fabric in there. Right, so what do you make in this one? Outdoors. So you've got your coasters, your fruit bowl or your bread basket, and your, what's that thing called? Bowl cosy. Yeah. Yeah. When you get out the mic, mind you, what have they had in the microwave? Oh, pasta. Pasta. Becky Alexander Frost says good afternoon. Oh, good morning, John and team. I hope your voice is getting better. It's absolutely fine. It's just weird sounding. Is it definitely not coming? Oh, see, you chose them. Right. Lovely. Maybe we'll have to do them in the last hour then. And then the last kit from here. Yeah. Yeah. Is that the same thing again in different fabric? Oh yeah, that's lovely, isn't it? That's nice. Twenty nine ninety nine. He's called Munch in here anyway. Um, Paul's getting confused because um, Cat's boyfriend is called Liam, and our Munch, who is one of our big bosses now, he's called Liam as well, and he gets very confused. Twenty nine ninety nine. It could be either of them, couldn't it? Beautiful. Munch was at um, rugby, I think, at the weekend, filming rugby at the weekend. Beautiful. I've got a couple more kits from Alice and Marion. Travel sewing kits. Um, I think this one might have seen better days, this box. You won't get this one. What one first? I've got S, uh, RQA226. Yeah. This is your travel sewing kit with a little pin cushion. Sweet, I love this colorway. So you get this one now. 
Yeah, this is Becky Mutton. Her um, daughter came up with this design. You've got pink cushion sand in here. Thought of everything, haven't they? Felt, tape measure, ribbon, fabrics, and your wadding. Everything you need. Let's just see if you need anything else. No, everything's in. Hang on. Oh, yeah, because the attractable tape measure's in the bag, isn't it? Everything, including the sand, is in there. £22.99. £22.99. pence. Fabulous. And then, the one in the bashed about box. Pink and yellow, this one. Pink and yellow. Nice. Oh, that's annoying. He's in the green room. I even think of Sewing Street Liam as Munch as well, says Sue. Ah, oh, Have you met him? Is he in today? He's still Munch. Charlie's texted in. Hope you guys are having a good shift. He's not watching then. No. Say to him, yeah, John, why hasn't John had a text? 22.99. You can tell him I'm poorly. 22.99. Okay, now, the, the reason I've been waffling on is because I had a grand finale of this hour, right? And they've not arrived. I thought Ian was going to get them, but he was drinking coffee with his coat on. Uh, guess what it is? Actually, let me describe it. Don't put the graphics in. So, it's from... What? No, I don't know which one it is. It's from Moda. It's from Moda. It's 227 grams in weight. It comes in a little bag. Little brown bag. And those of you who've bought them in the past have bought multiples of them and have loved what you got inside the little bag. How much is it? It costs £17.99. What's the code? The item code. No, no. I don't want them to know what it is yet. B U V U W 185. Do you want to know what? Have you guessed it? Have you guessed it? Let me see if anyone's guessed it. Got a bit of a delay, so I'll wait. Is it Roy? It's Roy meant to be bringing them over. Oh, it's not Roy. Oh, it's the man with the shorts and the um, thing. Okay. Have you guessed it? It doesn't matter. Put the graphics in. I haven't got one to show you. That's the problem. We'll have a picture. We'll have a picture. They've just landed in the warehouse. Oh, don't shout. Don't shout. Don't shout. See, people got multiples already. Scrap bags. Scrap bags. Scrap bags. They're not, well, yeah, they're scrap bags from Moda. They're like strips, aren't they? Like four inch strips normally. I haven't got one to show you. If they arrive before the 12 o'clock hour, then I'll show you them then again. If they haven't sold out by then, so many of you put them in your baskets. How many did they get us? And how many have gone? 20 have gone already. 20 have gone already. That's a 20% of the stock. I know it's very boring to look at because I can't open one or unravel it or anything. But check out, check out, check out. 17 99 I'm not allowed to shout, otherwise I would. It's called a Moda Design Roll Lucky Dip Bag. Oh, there's Bruce. Have you run over with this for us, Bruce? Yeah. Go to the front door. Bruce is doing what? Oh, I think making dreams come true. More people are multi-buying. Congratulations. Sorry, I've got nothing to show you. Okay, add those two together for me. Half the stock's gone now. Half the stock has gone now. It's not even here. It's like the old days at Rocks and Co. This is it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even if I could show it to you, it would not might not be the one you get because they're all different. They're all different. I've got my Moda Lucky Dick Ducky Dick Bag first time round, and I've been able to get one before they sell out. Can't wait for it to arrive. There you go, Michelle's trusted me. They are good though. They are good. And I always get angry because I go when I'm at home and suddenly they'll go, Oh, here's that we got this in and it's like not my day. I don't know. Seventeen ninety nine. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> right, how many is stock? Uh, say that again. Oh, okay. They're still not left the warehouse. How many are left? Fifteen left. 15 left. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out. You really, really, really... I can't shout. I can't get excited. But you really need to check out. We had over, oh, over 100 of these. And already, we've got... Was it 15? Did I say 12? Something like that. 15 left. You need to check out, though. It's going to be oversubscribed. Lots of people multi-buying. You're allowed to. Buy as many as you like. As many as you like. There you go. Jan says these are always excellent value. I advise anyone to grab one while they can. There you go. Viv's, oh, everyone's trying to guess now. It's too late now. Sue, Beverly, Viv, I've told you. $17.99. They are Moda fabric. They are design roll lucky dips. You get to, what's 227 grams in old money? What is it in old money? Becky, you do grams. How many ounces are in 227 grams? She don't care. Paul's working out for us. He's clever, yeah. He's wasted here, isn't he? Wasted. He's just working out now. <laughs> right? Yeah? Yeah, they usually try and put collections together so they'll all match normally. I can't guarantee that. Gene, 7.8 ounces is, thank you. I've just got two mode design rolls uh, as it's my birthday turn and need to treat Jean. Jean. Happy birthday, lovely. Have a lovely day. And now you've got those. What a treat. Self-gifting's the way to go, isn't it? Seventeen ninety nine. Let me know how happy you were with yours. You can email if you want to, very quickly though. Please check out, please check out, please check out. There's the email address, studio at sewingstreet.com. Yeah, ask on the, well it'd be too late now if you did her in. Don't ask on the fan page because by the time you get an answer, you, they'll have sold out. Oh, yeah, 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 if you, yeah, yeah, because if you, if you get one you don't like, go on the fan page and do a swap or sell it to someone off the, on the fan page. It's easy. That's the basket. It's a very interesting picture to look at, isn't it? Lots of people wondering. Oh, it's Ian again. Ian's just following this lady round. Uh, woo, 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 got one. First time being able to get one. Looking forward to it being, being delivered to Sylvia. Brilliant. I'm so glad. Tracy, excellent, got my motor bag, can't wait for it to arrive. You see, how brilliant is this, that we can sell you something like this, because you know it's going to be brilliant, right, without it being here. Next, I've got a sewing machine for £20,000. <laughs> That's what. OK, there are 15 not checked out, but 28 in baskets. The, the, oh, it is eight ounces, thank you, Beverly. Um, Kate's doing the slide for all the winners now. And... Oh, fantastic. Uh, haley has got some of that gingham in for us. You know, the lovely gingham in the last hour. Haley's managed to get some of that for us. It's here. It's, oh, you mean the gingham? You know, the blue and the red fabric. This, this here. Message from Margaret. The motor scrap bags are brilliant. Margaret, you should be working. If your bosses know you're messaging in. Make sure you check it out. Don't forget we've got the Italia 9 coming up later. Yeah, just the red and the blue fabric. The, the gingham fabric, please. What's the matter?
Oh, I thought she was there talking to you. Oh, I, I thought you met on the way into the office. I could say about time at five to eleven. It's not. It's not. I'm not. The thing is, I'm not poorly at all. I don't I hurt. I don't do anything. It's just frustrating. That's all. But I'm still getting excited. I'm not. I'm not allowed to. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Shout. And I'm not allowed to whisper. And I'm not. Lovely. And I'm not allowed the aircon on. That's why it's so hot. And it's only seven. No. The... <laughs> Look, there's, what's, he, what's Ian doing this morning? He's, he's, what, he went, what, walked that way with his coat on and a coffee, yeah. then he walked back, then he followed this lady, and now he's just walked back on his own again. He's left the lady up there. And then all those men have just come out that meeting. We need to get our cup if it's too distracting. Well, no, no, I'm not normally on this side, you see. I don't normally see it. It's only when I'm over there. Uh, what pizza have you ordered for me, then? Oh, oh, everyone's brought lunch. We're not having pizza today. Had a gift card for Christmas. Oh, look, no, this is brilliant. I had a gift card for Christmas. I spent some of it on my first mode design role. Di, you're going to love it. You'll love it. Oh, I sold out now. You might have, make sure you've checked out them. Have I got any more? Any more what? Any more like that? Because I've got f two minutes still to fill. Oh, we're doing the gingham now. Yeah. And the red one. <laughs> the gingham's arrived, everybody. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm easy with it. In fact, I bet... Oh, now look. I love this. Yeah, you won't get this big piece. You'll be buying it by the half metre, but look at the price. It's only four ninety nine. It's true gingham. It's yarn dyed. Look, look, I'll show you the end. Oh, look, I have to show... Oh, hang on. Here you go, here you go, here you go. Paul and his sister upstairs, if that's all right. Look, it's not printed. It's actually the threads. So you've got your blue and your white running across your weft. And then your warp is here. Oh, hang on. Because the warp, the, the weft goes left and the warp goes orp. Oh, hang on. What's going on now? 4 99 This is for half a metre. Beautiful. Yarn dyed. Yeah, you can make a dress out of it, make a blouse out of it, make kiddies' clothes out of it. This is obviously, was this a metre and a half? Yeah, so this is three units. That, this piece here, if you order this, that'd be £15. And it's lovely and wide, look. Look, these, oh, she's got a Victoria character, it's wide. It's gorgeous, isn't it? And the red one, that's being delivered back the way it was delivered to me in the first place. You see, now this one reminds me of school dresses. School summer dresses, this one. 4 99 okay. Oh, Margaret's having a bad morning to treat herself to a couple of scrap bags. Oh. Thank, I'm glad you got them, Margaret. Yeah, it'll arrive here soon. I'll better shout to a minute. Anyway, this is the red and white. Gorgeous. Love a gingham dress, says Claire. Don't we all? What's the matter, Victoria Carrington? Mind your own business. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's, they treat me like a, you know, a doormat here. You'll miss, you'll miss me when I'm gone. Four ninety nine. Well, who knows? I might end up on Hobby Maker. I might love jewelry maker so much I stay there. And uh, um, well, I'm not. No, Cherry won't let me go on gems. I think I chat too much for them on gems. We're going for a break now. After break is Victoria Carrington. She's making that cushion there, but in blue. We've got it in that colour as well. We will see you in four minutes from now. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7 full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Before we start with Victoria Carrington, um, I've got some good news. Uh, now, I've got four competition winners here. This is only if you did the shop to win, right? Don't show it yet, don't show it yet, don't show it yet. Um, if you did shop to win, these are your four prizes. I'll show you in a minute. If you did the how many eggs in a what's it, or if you did the bingo, I haven't got your names. I haven't got your names, but don't say it, don't show it yet. On Friday, what's that prize on a Friday? Cat. 
a quilt kit and some pre-cuts. On Saturday, it was a quilt kit and some pre-cuts. On Sunday, it was that gorgeous Liberty book. What's wrong? The slide's wrong. Ignore me, they're wrong, they're wrong. I'll show you the winners later. I'll show you the winners later. In the meantime, how gorgeous is this? Sorry, I've built up, built it up, built it up, built up, and it's wrong. Who was that then? Did she tell you about the egg one and everything like that? But they were on her desk, weren't they? Anyway, how gorgeous is this? Ignore the buttons. <laughs> Well, I only because, I mean, yes, it's gorgeous, but like me, right? This is me on a Sunday afternoon. I'm watching something on Netflix, right? And, I watch it, and then you wake up like that and you got all, like, I've got measles. On my Facebook Live, yeah. I didn't do one this week. I couldn't because of my voice. I had to be on the right side. Okay, now, controversially, we're going to do the instructions on their own first. I don't know why. I don't know why. Here you go. Petal cushion. Oh, it's there. Is he? Hang on a sec. He's no. Oh, he comes. Here he comes. Right, that's the right door. Hello, Hello. come in. Hi. Oh, tell him not to talk. <laughs> You're new, are you? Yes. Yes, he is. He's new. Come on, come and say hello. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Liam. Liam, you don't mind, you know, you've got, you're not being chased by the police or anything, are you? No, no, no. Right, here's Liam, everybody. <laughs> to say hello to the... That's another oh, Liam. So what do you do here, then? At the moment, I am driving the van, but normally I work in the warehouse. Oh, do you? Yes. That's yes. Liam from the warehouse. Well, welcome. This Thanks. is Victoria. Hello. My name's John. Hi. That's Hi. Becky. And these are millions Hi. of people watching you at home. Hi, everyone. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, he's off now. <laughs> Go. Thank you. Bye. So, are you the new Roy then? Where's Brian? Uh, he's on holiday at the moment. Oh, Brian's on holiday at the moment. Yes. And what about the man that wears the shorts and the... He's hurt his back. So oh, he's... <laughs> he's the one. He's our, he, the, the one that says his back is our um, health and safety man. And I said to him one day, oh, I've cut myself. He went, oh, bleed. And that was it. That's all he said. Anyway, Liam's gone now. Oh, Becky rather fancies Liam. No, he's not five ninety nine ninety nine. This is, this is. It's nice here, isn't it? We meet everybody. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Claire said, "Oh, hello, Liam." <laughs> oh, with people whistling now. It was quite he's appealing on the eye. I've seen him before. No, no, warehouse. he's new to come over oh, here. Oh, yeah, yeah. What are you doing in the warehouse? Oh, <coughs> what are you doing in the warehouse? <laughs> I always drop my patterns off myself. Oh, just in case do I get you lost. indeed? And yeah. then knock on the door These are for Liam. He's directed me in, like, on the Has phone he? for about half an hour before now because I can't, couldn't find it. Oh. Oh, that's Liam. Yeah, he's ever so nice. Yeah. Oh, Jan saying, oh, hello, Liam. <laughs> hello, Liam. I was just about to ask where Roy was. Roy's on his holidays. Oh, Liam, a star. Oh, look at it, Liam, a star in the making. I'll go home if you want. <laughs> I'm quite happy to go home. Let Liam do tomorrow. Anyway, 9 <laughs> Nine ninety nine for the. Why are we doing the pattern first? Okay, where's the inspiration for this one come from then? Um, so when I when I used to um, write patterns for today's quilter. Do you not do it anymore? No. Oh, I'll tell you why in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> it's just time. I know. It's just I know, time. Yeah. Um, because you've got to do like a really cracker for in there, haven't you? What do you do here as I well? I do. Yeah. 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 Anyway, um, anyway, so I'd done a quilt that yeah. was like this, um, and then this is kind of like a smaller, more manageable version Cute of version. that idea. Cute version of it, right? So, if you want to make, so what did you use? I oh, just tell me here, a fat quarter for the background. So your cream on that one is a yeah. fat quarter. Then a fourteen by twenty-eight fabric for the back, for the envelope yeah. back, right? Then you just need various fabric scraps equivalent to one fat quarter, but 15 fabrics, each approximately four by six, were used in this version here. You need some bond web, some wadding, optional 32 yeah. buttons, <laughs> a 12 by 20 cushion pad and some thread. And a sewing machine helps. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, we have got our own bundles. You're gonna love this. The blue one's most popular so far. Which one are I doing first? Blue one. Right, I've not seen this yet. Right, so you get the pattern, you get a fat cord to the blue for your background. Yep. And then all of these gorgeous, oh yes, I love it. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Is that your envelope back there? Yeah. 
Oh, what? So everything you need. Oh, look, these fa fabrics are beautiful. Where would you like me to hold it? Bex is coming in. In your own time, Bex. Victoria's got to go home in for 50 minutes. <laughs> Everyone wants more of Liam now, apparently. <laughs> when can we have Liam on the show again? I need to drop my samples in Scott's office. <laughs> <Do you? laughs> Whether he needs them or not. Is Liam for sale, says Nicola. Oh, honestly. Yeah, if Liam's... No, Liam's not the first... Oh, no. He did have... No, I think he's just wearing the boy that's hurt his back. Wearing his waistcoat. Got nice teeth, he is they? a good sport, his name. We want all oh, Liam such a good sport. Who was that one from? Christine, that was from Christine. Anyway, look, back to this. Forget about Liam now. Just <laughs> get a damp, uh, cold flannel. <laughs> Becky's it. Becky was flirting with him, sorry. Nineteen ninety. I can see you two together. Older woman, younger man. Oh, he likes, she likes it the other way. She likes an older man. Oh, I know somebody we could introduce you to then. Do you like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Panel, fat quarter of the blue, plus your instructions for 19.99. Yeah. Oh, no, we're not allowed to say that name. That, that he's in steps. You'll think that's somebody in steps. You'll think it up. Here we go. Uh, so this is the uh, pattern. Now this has got a white back. Is it white or ivory? Ivory. Ivory. Plus, now these are, oh no, these are different colours again. Oh, nice, look. Pastels. So that one, they, they've almost copied that's, your original, yeah, haven't they? Yeah, that's based on that yeah. one. Yeah, so that's based on that one there. Beautiful, different colours there. 19.99. Enough there to make, the, now there's enough here to do all the flowers, aren't there? Yeah. And then that's your envelope back. Yeah. And that's your actual backing. Yeah. So you don't need anything else. You need the bonder web. Bonder web. And buttons if you want to. And uh, did you put? Some, did you quilt yours? Um, I put wadding. some wadding behind it, but you don't have to. Or H6 makes it forty to work as well, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, and then if you didn't want to use um, wadding, you could use some um, fusible interfacing just to give it a bit more body when you. Yeah, that's it. not for this hour. They've sent the wrong stuff up. <laughs> There was a great big, you know, the great big hard Deckerville we used for peaked caps. They set that up for some reason. <laughs> oh, it was scheduled. It wasn't just a mistake. I don't know why Ian put that in then. It's because he's, he's too busy chasing that lady along this corridor <laughs> upstairs. Anyway, so that's all I've got to show you. Oh, now, before I go anything, no, no, before I go anywhere, before I put any graphics in anything. No, before the prize winners, we've got one of your quilts and it's got, we've got three left. Do you want to do that now? You say this hour or next hour? Oh, that one, oh, she's too busy flirting with Liam. She didn't even open the package. Ignore that, ignore that. I'm gonna do the prize winners instead. Right, don't bring it up yet. Let me have a look at it first. So on Friday, it was a quilt kit and pre-cuts. On Saturday, it looks like Tula Pink. Are they Tula Pink pre-cuts, yeah? Then on Sunday and Monday, the same prize was Oh, no, 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 my bad, my bad. Sunday was the Liberty book, which I kept going on about. And Monday, yesterday, was a dress pattern, some threads. And is that the um, Great British Sewing Bee book in there? Great British Sewing Bee book. Right, if you bought over this weekend, you four... Now, Prudence, Mary, or Mary Harris, you've won the quilt kit. Uh, Marilyn White, you've won the tulip. Oh, the white tulip pink. Uh, Karen Coleman, you've got the one I want. Uh, and then Joanna Brownhill, you have won yesterday's prize. Oh no. Okay. Yeah, no. And what about the eggs? No, because we, we told them what the prize was. Hannah told me what the prize was. Anyway. Let's move on. Have you got Victor? Oh, well, I'll get, I'll get the quilt at the end of the hour. Make me a cushion. Okay. So, first of all, you get obviously get the instructions. Yeah. So, in here, you've got all the pictures, and then it talks through step by step 
how to put the petals together. Yeah. Um, and then how to obviously make the back of the cushion. And then you've got your template for your petal on the back as well. Yeah. So um, I know that looks really easy, but I don't want people to think I've just gone, oh, just draw a shape yeah. like that and no thought's gone into it. I've had to do it with a compass and Did you? all this up. Yeah, I know. Right, so first of all, what you need to do is you take your panel and you cut all your swatches roughly okay. into size. Now for each of these um, pieces, you're going to do five petals. Right. So if you're at home and you've just bought the pattern, you can um, you can just you just basically you need to make seventy five petals. So it will all be dependent on the size of your bits and all that sort of thing. So just gauge it on what you've got at mm -hmm. home. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is <laughs> now, ladies, calm down. Liam could rub my back any time, <laughs> says Nicola. And so if I'd known there was dating help available, I'd applied for Search for a Star. <laughs> we, he, well, I've never seen him before. He doesn't work in this building. You'll have to get a job in the warehouse if you want to be with Liam. Yeah. Or deliver your patterns for Victoria Carrington next time. <laughs> right, what are you doing? OK, so what I'm going to do now is I'm, I've taken a piece of Bonder web, and you can get all of these petals out of one of the small packs yeah. for this. Um, and then I've just cut them down to down to size and I'm going to do them in blocks of five because I've got 15 fabrics different fabrics on there so these panels are really good because some people don't have like a massive stash of all different fabrics so yeah. you've got the options for lots of different um, designs okay so all you do is just trace them off and I've given you giving you a bit of a guide if you've bought the panel as to what um, what size to cut your bond web okay as well. brilliant okay and then you take your gave you a lovely posh one earlier i know but that's one's a bit small for this oh now. is it yeah oh. i'll cover it up in a minute right. maybe you'll see okay so i've got the back of that swatch and i'm putting onto my bonder web on there okay and you want to make sure you give this a good press right um because you don't want them you want the best adherence to your will i be able to do this from one of the long thin strips of bonder web or do I need more than that? Yeah, you can do it from <coughs> one of those packs because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. the long, thin strips. We had the pack um, yeah. earlier. You don't need to buy the great big roll. If you just buy the pack, that would yeah. be big enough to do yeah. this. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I'm just going to cut those out. And you can... I, I did all these in front of the TV. Did you? Yeah, and then I did the start. And once you've once you've got these made, which these don't take long to do, what but this you is watching? definitely a morning project. What were Bridgerton. You watching? I'm not liking this series though much. Have you not finished it yet? No. I say I like. Do you think? Well, uh, it's very difficult because I the first series a friend of mine designed the costumes for it. Yeah. And the costumes were atrocious. Yeah. Right. And I, I know she had a brief to work to, but it didn't really work. Then this one, I kind of started watching it, and then I thought it was really obvious. So I stopped watching it, right? And then when this first kicked in at the weekend, I sat and watched it and I sobbed my heart out. It's really sad. It's really lovely at the end. Oh, is it? Yeah. Not sad. It's not sad. It's not sad. It's not sad. And I'm not doing a spoiler. Aww. But I, it, I kept thinking, oh, this is too obvious. Oh, this is too obvious. It's really annoying. It's yeah. really but I thought the girl that played, um, who's the lady on the horse? What was she called? The love interest. Not the, no, she's not the love the interest. The older sister. The older sister. Yeah. Not Hattie, it wasn't Hattie, was it? Kate. Was it Kate? Yeah. I, can't um, I thought she was brilliant. Anyway, she's in a series called, I can't say what, she's in a Channel 4 series, isn't she? I thought she was new, I thought they discovered her. Yeah. <coughs> but she's well known from another TV series. I thought she was oh. brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Okay. So, you then take your fat quarter and you trim I'm it. I'm sorry. Alicia. <laughs> I wouldn't be allowed to say half of these things. <laughs> he could pack my carton any time. <laughs> Honestly, Alicia. Oh, hang on. Is Liam married? Does he want a wife? That's from <laughs> Madeline in East Sussex. Oh, wait. Honestly. I'll have a word with him when I go in John, I think we should find out if Liam can sew. And if not, he can hold up the fabric when required. <laughs> and on a hot day, he could do it topless. 
The thing is, right, uh, no, 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 I get told off all the time in the office upstairs. You know Statue S. Colin, our big boss, right? If I say to him, oh, you're so handsome, Colin, you can't say that, you can't object, what's the word? Objectify me, I don't, I say, I'm complimenting <laughs> you. I'm not objectifying you. Anyway, I'm not allowed to say that about Colin, because... We have passed on all your messages to Liam, though, so expect him back through the door any second now. <laughs> um, anyway, 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 I'm not objectifying. We're not objectifying. We're just, it's just fun and banter, isn't it? We yeah. don't want anybody to be offended whatsoever. No. Right. OK. So I've cut my fat quarter down from my background fabric, yeah. and I'm keeping the leftover bit right. for my <coughs> piping on the back of the envelope Lovely. Back. OK? Lovely. So what you then do is you take your rectangle and you press it in half to get a, a line down the centre. Now you don't necessarily have to press it as hard as I have, it's just so you can see. Yeah. Um, and then so then you open it out yeah. and then press it the other way. But in case you've cut it a bit wonky, you need to make sure that the, the crease lines are meeting there before Even you press it. Even if the top's it. a bit wonky. Yeah, exactly. Right. So yeah, so like there, for example, that's a bit wonky. Yeah, you're just covering up for yourself yeah. now, aren't you? Yeah. I did that on purpose to show people. Yeah, how not to do it. Okay, so I've cut so I've cut out my seventy five petals, which doesn't actually take particularly long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then what I'm going to do, so I've laid them out in front of me, and I'm just going to take the first one. That's so the fourth these are just one. Completely, completely random, and I'm going to position that. So. Oh, well the, spotted, Katie. Liam had a wedding band on. Oh, did he? She re have you rewound? Have a look. <laughs> Mind you, I've got I've got a ring on my wedding finger as well. Means nothing. Cat, I think she desperately wants one. Oh. Anyway. Okay, so I've oh. positioned my first one. Right. Now I didn't think you were gonna it was gonna be positioned like that. I thought it was gonna be pointing to the centre oh, point. Oh, okay. I'd have done it wrong. Okay, and then all I'm gonna do now is just add them across. And I want to make sure that my ends are like just touching, not overlapping. Right, okay. okay. So the first one has gone uh, directly over the central cross. Yes. Right, okay. So you're doing now a line along yeah. the fold line. Yeah, and it's very important to keep your points along this crease. Right, okay. Pam Mini Harney says, I don't know. I'll pop out for a few minutes. What have I missed? Who's Liam? <laughs> You'll have to rewind, Pam Mini Harney. Right. Mm-hmm. Sorry about the distraction there. <laughs> she was eating fish fingers the other day. Sitting there oh, at that desk. Oh, I don't desk. blame her. Oh, I've just been eating cheese straws outside whilst having a meeting with Ian. Oh, have you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did he write it down? Because he'll have forgotten about it by the time he gets back to his desk. <laughs> they don't call him Goldfish Ian for nothing. <laughs> Stop it, John. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Um, what? Trying to Enjoying think about yourself. this too much, haven't I? Oh, just you're trying to be random. On. Yeah, I'm trying to be random. Right. You'll do this randomly. I'm just going to stick them on. Okay, so what I've done, hang on, I'm going ahead of myself here. What? What are you doing now? So I've done my centre one and then I've done two to the side. Yeah. And then I'm going to press these on. Right. Now, this is the only time now that you'll press these on until they're all positioned. Right. Because what you're so you need like to building do, the foundations, really. Yeah, yeah. So it'll all be based around those that line. Okay, and then you. So then we're going to make this row and this row here. Right. So you just randomly. Yeah. <laughs> pop. So we're making like V shapes. Okay. So you've got lots of choice because you've got all these different fabrics, which Amy has done a brilliant job of. Oh, okay. Amy does yours, does she not? Lou? Lou did the picnic blanket one because okay. Amy was on holiday and then yeah. Amy normally does them. Lou did my um, doorstop. Did she? And she's doing my next two projects as well. Did she? Yeah. That's a, that's a secret, everyone. Ooh. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm getting these so they meet up together and they want to be meeting on that fold line there. Okay. Okay. Now, I don't understand this message. How's Victoria's eye? Oh, that's when I had my um, 
allergic reaction. Oh, did it swell up? <sighs> yeah, on my face all swollen up and my throat started to swell up. When's it going down? <laughs> <laughs> That's my whole body. <laughs> oh, and she says the table looks lovely. Oh, thank you. Oh, the table you painted. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so we ended up in A&E for five hours. Oh, no, I missed the yeah. chat on Facebook. Yeah, I put, oh. my, I put my table on there. No, yes. I know that, she commented about about me on it, but did you put yeah. your picture of you in A&E on Facebook? No, so? I didn't, no. no. No, I wouldn't have done that, it would have scared people. Oh. Um, right. Okay. Okay. I was going to try and do all of these, but I think it might get a bit boring, hadn't it? What do you think? Oh, you're all right. Well, it depends how long it's going to take you to do the rest. Yeah. So not quite half past yet. Okay. Look, I've put two together there, which you don't want. Do you know what you can... Oh, no. Oh, shut up, John. Because they, those petals make lovely lotus flowers as well. Yeah, you could... I mean, you don't have to stick to this design. You could do whatever you want. Yeah, no. Let me just come in here. Do you mind so, me coming close to you? No. Oh, you put two the same together then. I know. But you see, because I haven't stuck it down... Only that one's stuck. Yeah, so you could do like three Rose, can different... You see it on the, can you see it on the camera? Yeah, look, if that one went there, that would make a lovely lotus flower, wouldn't it? I'm not, not saying I'm going to change your design, but I've messed all your little piles up now, look. Don't worry. There you go, I'll go away. Okay, so this is the next two rows. Yeah. Let's put one of those in. And um, there's some petals in here that's the same as the back. Uh, the envelope back fabric. Oh as well, yeah, so it yeah, ties that's nice. Yeah. Okay. A lot of noise. They've got a lot of guests in next door today. Munch. Ah, oh, Munch is in. Let me just. Okay, we can't let Munch on because <laughs> he's number two, Liam. Now, isn't he? Okay, so we go quite far out to the edge. Hang on. Is that Bruce? Hello. I thought you weren't with us today. <laughs> oh, okay. Who are you talking to? Bruce, you not met Bruce, Bruce, the director? Oh, you not met Bruce? No. Bruce is a bodybuilder. Is he? Yeah. It's married. Right. Uh, very calm. Well, that's very centred. He's well. You want somebody calm. Yeah, yeah. And he's just filling in for a few minutes while Paul, who you met this morning, yeah. goes off to make a cup of tea. Is that what he's doing? Okay, so the so the more accurately you do this, the oh. easier it's going to be to sew a bit later on. Yeah. Okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. That's nice to see it build up. And it's amazing how you can get that pattern from just a simple yeah. petal shape. Okay, so once you've got that, so obviously in the picture, I've shown you how to do that first step. Yeah. And then we're just going to add on the rows that go across okay. there now. But you can't do this in front of the telly then? No, you need to do this on your ironing board as well. Okay. Because if you move it, it's obviously oh, all going to yeah, yeah, yeah. pop off everywhere. So. When you're um, when you're joining them together here, you just need to just slightly alter them just to make sure they're joining up nicely. Uh -huh. So when you come to sew these, you can either um, you can either sew the individual petals on, yeah. so you would stitch around the edge and back round, yeah. or what I did is I just sewed, I just continued. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All around. Swirling. And I did that because I was sewing the buttons on and yeah. um, to cover the points. Mistakes. <laughs> so it's, it's optional what you want yeah. to do. Okay. It's looking lovely on the blue. I'm watching it on yeah, the monitor it does, here. It's beautiful. Yeah, the bowl colour does look good, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Because I love quilts um, with dark backgrounds as well. I just, you yeah. know, sometimes do like a trip around the world or something yeah. with a dark blue background. It looks gorgeous. Yeah, I'm going to do that from now on. So I have like a pastely version like I like to do. Yeah, yeah. And then a bold one. Oh, nice. Yeah, because so they're all different, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just talking to Ian about it, actually. Oh, um, yeah. My next project. So. Oh, yeah. Will that take another 10 weeks to do, though? <laughs> I've got some animals to draw yet. Have you? Yeah. 
What have you, what I've do got you mean? Three Jack Russells. Oh, what your pencil drawings? Yeah, yeah. Are you taking commissions now? Yeah. 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 I hope you're charging a proper I'm very, price for I'm very them. slow though. Well, that doesn't matter, but I hope they're I'm a bit beginnery. I hope you're not going, oh, I'm not very good at this. I'll just charge a little bit. <laughs> I'll be your agent. Okay. Okay. Can, so this is like super easy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's lovely difficult. the way you just see it building yeah, up. Yeah. So <laughs> these, again, these would be good for like craft fairs or... Yeah. Um, I keep picking one, the same but ones also, up. This would be good as a class. You know what I mean? Yeah, Somebody yeah. wants to do a class, yeah. wouldn't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, by the pattern, obviously, by the pattern. Okay. Right then. So we've done that centre row now, so now we're going to do the outer row. Is the one missing? On this end flower here. Oh, it's, well, what you'll see is it'll come round there oh, next. Oh, okay. Right. So it's not, it's not noticeable because it, it's um, kind of folds around the, yeah. the cushion pad. Got a question for you. Victoria, is there a reason the cushion is this size or would it be easy to make a normal cushion size? You always <laughs> do long, thin cushions. I like long, thin ones. Yeah. But could you do it on a square? You could. Not with, this, not with this panel, you couldn't. Because you, they'd give, no, because your fabric for your for If your you wanted to, you could back. do it. Would it? You could probably do a smaller one. Oh, you one. a small square. Yeah, yeah. you could, yeah. Or just I mean, use a different is, fabric. This is one of those things where once you've got the technique, I mean, you could do a quilt out of this, couldn't you? Now you know how yeah, to start yeah. it off and you What's just build it up. What's this purple bit and this silver bit for at the top um, even? They're just like, so this, there was meant to be 15 thingies. 14, 15, and yeah. And then there was a bit more space left on the um, Oh, that could be binding so on, your, um, on your envelope back, could it? You could do, yeah. yeah. That's a good idea. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, we are doing pizza today after all. Okay, so. Okay, so what have you got the menu? Gluten free. What do you mean? I can't have Nando's because it's chicken. <laughs> We're having a, a, a picnic lunch. You're talking about having a picnic lunch today. I don't want mushrooms. Oh, can't, wouldn't it be easy to just give me the menu? I'll talk to you in the break. <laughs> can I stay for lunch? Yeah. <laughs> what would you like? You have the other half of mine. I've got to, I've got to go and um, let the kids out from under the stairs. Oh, it's not <laughs> half term, is it? Yeah, full term. It's Easter holidays still. Oh, hang on. Oh no, Katie. Katie's is saying, it's bothering me slightly that those two are the same. Can you move those ones? I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm where sure are they? a cushion. However, Here. it's like a Roman mosaic. Always has Let's to have a mistake. Yeah, there you go. There you go, that's better. Who? D, we are trying to sort the overhead camera out. Uh, Paul's just been to the engineers about it. You see, think I think I might have to be a little bit obtuse here. Hang on. Hi both, watching the cushion come to life Hello. is beautiful. Pat and ordered, loving the shirt, John Aww. from Vanessa. Thank oh, thank you, you Vanessa. Why did you say that was for Victoria then? <laughs> um, I'm, can I come in again? Go on. What's what? I'm just wondering. I'm, I don't want to spoil your design, but I'm coming in. Oh, no. How many do you get out of each colour? One, two, three, four, oh, five. Do you know what? I think I'm probably three short, two short, because I haven't cut them out yet. Oh, okay. No, no, no. I was just thinking whether you'd have the same, could have the same pattern all the way oh, around. Oh, I see. But yeah. I don't think you've got six of. You, you need. Oh. You need six, don't you, to go round the outside? Yeah, and you've got five of them. And you've only got five of each, yeah. so my plan wouldn't work. No. Yeah. Oh, John. There you go. You would never know I've been in. Okay. So Slow to these just, left just over. Shape. Thanks, John. As Kat said, I'm boring everyone. No, Kat hasn't said anything. She's been busy <laughs> choosing her pizza. Give her a hand. <laughs> she's taking ages. Oh, she's having a Nando's. <laughs> I 
Am I doing this one up here? I'm going right yeah. the way to the top there. I've got, oh, so you've got some more cut out, yeah, you say? Too. What flavour? Yeah. What flavour? What colour are they? Put that on there. Because this is so. No, look, no, no, that one has to go there like that. Oh yes, cat. You know, in well, I'll tell you a minute. Well, you told me. I think, yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's better now you're over here, isn't it? Ah. Uh, it's better now you're over well, here. Well, some people you say that. Stuff. Some people go, "Could you move?" <laughs> Catherine Wright doesn't like me standing next to her. Why? We have a trolley between us. Yeah. yeah. I'm only joking. She'll be watching. Oh, no, she's on holiday this week, isn't she? Right. Right, hang on. I need to uh, just have a quick... We missed oh. oh. Oh, well. Oh. Oh, it doesn't matter. If you sneeze now, imagine. There's probably a double somewhere. Anyway, should we... Yeah, I'll go back. Right. So Make sure you just you're perfectly be... happy. Yeah. Make sure you've got no duplicates. And then you want to be pressing down rather than rubbing across. Sewing Street is a fun show, says Gabriel. Gabriel, or was it Gabrielle? Gabriel. Had to nip out with grandchild who won the weekend giveaway. Oh, who won the weekend giveaway competitions? Oh, I'll show you again in a minute. What? There was somebody with a posh double barreled name won the first day. Somebody with a white surname won the second day. This would be a good one to do with kids as well. Oh, what? This would be a good one to do with kids. That's what I said, didn't I? Class. Oh, no, you thought a grown-up class. Yeah, kids is one. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but then the next bit, when they have to do circular sewing, that might be a little <laughs> bit advanced. OK. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that that's really well ironed yeah. down. Take a bit of time to do that. Now, what I do now is flip him over and just give it a little bit of a press okay. on the back. And you want to try and get those crease lines out if you can. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one's the most popular still? The, oh, the bright blue one still. Main graphics at the moment. And the pastel is in the small graphics. Okay, so if, you, um, if you're using the interface, if you're using like a fusible interfacing, um, on the back to stabilise it when you sew in. Yeah. Um, you just need to cut that slightly smaller than your um, background fabric right. and press that on at this point. Lovely. Um, or you can use wadding like You've I You've completely have. confused Paul, who's only bit done, it's only second day on Sewing Street. He's like, and he left halfway through the day and he's gone, how have they just stuck that bit of fabric, that magic? <laughs> okay. How are you wadding goes in now? Yeah. Right. So I'd probably spray that, um, but it's not John's, really John's some much spray. of a problem. No, I'll be all right. Are you sure? John, yeah. Just as well, because it's not on the shelf anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So all I'm going to do now, so I've got my, because I'm using the wadding, yeah. I've got my walking foot on. Right. Remember now, we sell the walking feet for the 5, 55, 65, 70, whether you do open-toed or closed-toed. It's coming up in the next hour. Yeah. So I've got my stitch length on like a on a normal sort of length. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to start on any petal. Mm hmm And you can go. Where am I looking? So you can go whichever way, whichever way you find easier. Uh huh. Helps you press the petal. It's not working. <laughs> <laughs> Amateur. Dear me. Honestly. You'd think she'd been sewing for years. Mm, like he's having a full on conversation with someone. Who are you chatting to now? Oh, how's he doing that? Oh. She's having a wrap for her lunch. You just want to take it steady. If your stitch line goes a bit wonky, you can always go over it again to make it look sketchy. Uh -huh. um, if you're going to use buttons, just go straight into the middle 
of the flower and um and just you can cross over wherever because that will be that will be covered that's what i did on mine uh-huh so as you can see that's really straightforward to do so you just carry on doing that all the way uh -huh. around so if you look there there you go oh then i've gone like that right okay? yeah and then you you do all of that and then i sewed all the buttons on um if like i said before if you're not sewing buttons on then you can just stitch from there down to the bottom and back round and then cut off your thread and then and then carry on right um so that's that bit so i'll show you how to do the back now yeah okay so i'm just going to trim that down and again you want your wadding bigger than your um up until this point background fabric yeah so yeah. when you've quilted it you cut down the yeah. edges now you all have done everything you went to just done one line of stitching no at home. no corner of my back off say it again message from Susan never use this method does the fabric fray on the edges when washed um it can, it can lift up a little bit but I think that adds to the it will do. edgeness of it isn't it yeah it will do just slightly yeah. not fray away like a big no, fringing no. anything um I mean you could do it um what do you call it? Turned edge applique if yeah. you wanted, because that's how I did the um, the quilt. Would it work if I zigzagged it, or would it be yeah, too you heavy? Could do, yeah, yeah, yeah. The blanket stitched it. Yeah, you could do whatever yeah. you wanted because it's it's a pretty straightforward yeah. shape. It's not and it's not too kind of tiny yeah. either. So, okay, so that's that bit done in the meantime. Could John show us the kits again, please? Sorry, I missed the start of the demo. Thanks, from Isabel. Isabel, my stop. Do it now. Isabel asked, I'll do it now. It's not a problem to me. Pastel first. What you get is, oh, it's jumped into lead. Pastel's just, pastel just jumped into You get a fat quarter of ivory. You get your instructions. And then, oh, Bex, that's you he's talking to. Come on, come on, come on. Stop altering your lunch. Panel. So the spotty is for your envelope back. Then you get 15 rectangles for your um, petals. And then the silver line across the top there is extra. 19.99, that's the past one. Now, this won't make exactly that, but that's what it was based on. This was Victoria's original one. The, op the buttons are optional, okay? Then we've got the bright one with the blue background, which is the one Victoria's working on now. So you get the instructions, you get the um, fat quarter of the blue, and then you get this panel. So this, is, this here is the back of your cushion. I think it's beautiful, that fabric. Hang on, I'll breathe in a minute, there you go. So that's your back of your cushion there, and then there are your 15 different bright colors. Beautiful. Which one? That one, that one, that's above the purple one. <laughs> okay, 19.99. Hope that helped, Isabella, Isabel. Right. Um, just to mention the buttons. Oh yes. The ones I used, I think they were, if you just search for nine mil or 10 millimeter. On our website. Buttons. I don't think no, you, just you don't sell life. buttons, do you? We do. Do you? Yeah, but not, not that many oh, little yeah, ones. Oh, yeah, because they're, like, obviously a bigger quantity, aren't yeah. they? But they're only a couple of quid anyway. Yeah, so. thanks. A couple of quid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you cut your envelope back down, the, the two squares are the same size. Uh -huh. And you take one and you press, press the edge over a quarter of an inch. Yeah on one edge mm -hmm. and then fold it again and I'm just going to hem that so right. that's just basic and the um 
Neck and neck now, neck and neck. You really, for anything like this where you're sewing multiple um, layers, layers of fabric together, you're definitely best off using the walking foot. Yeah. Available to be bought in the next hour for the 550, 560, 570, open toe and closed toe. Have you? Okay, so that's one done. Yeah. And then you take your other piece, which hasn't got anything on at the moment. Uh-huh. And then from the remains of your... Um, blue. Blue. Or ivory. Yeah. You cut yourself a strip. Yeah. Which is just about an inch longer than... And then you do what we did earlier, where we pressed it in half that way, and then brought the raw edges together at that center crease yeah. and fold it again to give yourself a binding edge right. and then we're going to pop that over the edge of there and stitch that on i'll just do that oh do you like it better than jewelry maker then paul There's a nice flower stitch on the Atelier 9 that would be perfect instead of buttons. Perfect size being a 9mm width. Jan! Ah. Jan, get in here, get in here. Jan, come in, do the demo for me. I've got, I've got the Atelier 9 in the next hour. It's the only embroidery machine and sewing machine we've got. And then I'm just going to trim off that overhang. Yeah. Okay, so you take your cushion front. Yeah. Right side up. Yeah. And you position your first back, the bound one, down first. Yeah. Obviously, there's pictures of all of this in the pattern. Yeah. And then you put your hemmed one yeah. on top. Okay, so let's pin that. And then I'm just going to stitch around the edge, and hopefully I'll have time to show you how to do the corners. Yeah, because I've done Not plenty of time, like right. um, boxed corners. Oh on that job. yeah, 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 yeah. Just makes it look a bit more interesting. I mean, you haven't got to if you don't want to, but. <laughs> Apparently, it's a bit, and there's not been a fight like this since Pop Idol with um, Will Young, whose auntie lives in my village, and Gareth Gates, because it's going creams in lead, blues in the lead, <laughs> creams in the lead, blues in the lead. <sighs> okay. So I'm just going to do a generous quarter of an inch around the right. edge, all around no gaps why generous um just because a quarter a, ideally a quarter of an inch but it can be a little bit tight so okay and then half an inch is a bit much right so three eighths then yeah i'm just going to increase that stitch length just to speed this up a bit and then what you want to do when you get to um where the hems are and the bit of binding is just run back over that with a back stitch just right. to secure that bit uh -huh. but like i said when once you've got this technique you can um i mean you could make it in a baby quilt would be nice as well yeah um or a bag or a wash bag or something or wall hanging yeah. Yeah. Cat's still going to do it on the front of her dungarees. <laughs> the pocket on the front of yeah. her dungarees. <laughs> Who's that from? No, they're all modes are the ones I've got here. Okay. 
What? Oh, not me. Right, so I've gone all the way round. Lovely. And you all have back stitched over your um, ends there. Did you not then? No. <sighs> Actually, someone's got the sound off. <laughs> Go on then. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, box the corners. Want to show what you mean? Yeah. So instead of just having your corners, because sometimes on my cushions, when I've just made them by doing that, they can the corners can stick out like funny little ears. Okay. So um, what I've done is just like box them off on the corner like that. Okay. So to do that, now I haven't done this very, I haven't gone around the edge of this very accurately, so it might not work as well. So what you need to do is just open up your two fabrics seams there and push the fabric to the different sides like that. Mm -hmm. I'll do them in a second for you, Lynn. Okay, so I'm just making sure that those are level and I just line, oh, hang on. Oh, what? In the middle there. So I line that corner. Can you see those little ears there? Yeah. Up. And then I make sure that the edge of the cushion is like at a right angle, like that. And then the, the seams are level with each other. Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I've got a surprise in a minute. For who? Okay. <laughs> Might not be a surprise. And then I'm just going to pin that there. Okay. And I'm yeah. going to take my ruler and my friction pen. Yeah. And I'm going to measure up from where that, that little V shape is there, three quarters of an inch. Right. And then draw a line across. Lovely. And I'm making sure that that line on my ruler is level with the edge, with the seam. Uh, the cushion pad is still... 12 by 20 inch cushion pad. Okay, so yeah. all I'm going to do now is stitch across where I've marked Lovely. that. Again, your quilting foot is good for this because you probably wouldn't get through it very well with just a standard foot, maybe. You might be all right. And then I'm just going to go, I'm just going to reverse over that line just to just double check that it's secure. So you'd go all the way back. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just trim that corner off. Lovely. To leave a quarter of an inch seam so that when I turn it through, it's like that. Oh, hang and, on, can't see that. Sorry. Can we see it? Come to my way a bit. That's it. There we go. So if you can see, it's like boxed. Um, and you want to be trying to get these seams level so that it just looks yep. a bit better. Okay? So that's that. Yeah, lovely. So imagine all No, cat, done. it's not. It's in the wrong place. Okay, so you've got your... Lovely. Your back like that and your front like that. Gorgeous, isn't it? Look. So some like dark, maybe some navy blue buttons on there would look nice. Or no buttons at all. <laughs> or the flower <laughs> stitch from the Atelier 9. Yes. Or genuine gemstones from uh, Joy Baker next door. Maybe oh, that yeah. might scratch your face, mightn't it? Could just be for the display, couldn't it? Yeah. Gorgeous, thank you very much indeed. Right, recap, recap, recap. So the pastel one. You do get your fat quarter of ivory. You get your instructions. Lynn, this is for you, my love. And you also get the panel. Gorgeous. So you've got your fabric here for your um, envelope back. And then you get your 15 rectangles for your petals. And then this is spare across the top here.
Just one cushion you can get out of the panel. Okay, that's the pastel one. And then the blue one that you just saw being demoed then. What about that big quilt? I haven't said anything about it, that's all. Okay, right, okay. So we've got a fat quarter of the blue. We've got the instructions. And we've got the bright panel that you just saw being made then. So there's your 15 rectangles. They're exactly neck and neck at the moment. I have got the pattern on its own as well. Oh, the pattern on its own is in the lead. Oh, yeah, all right, Kat. Does the pattern on its own have, say how much fabric you need? Yes, it does. A whole list on the back of everything, Sil. I'll show you very quickly. Well, no, because you're... No. Right, uh, now it's not packed. Yeah. So, Victoria's designed this quilt kit for us. I will show you a picture of it. There it is, beautiful. So each of those were cushion covers or single items. I'll get, I'll get one so I can just show you, right? So each one comes like this. So I've got the blue tips here like this. So you will get nine of these for the different animals with all the different templates in and everything like that. You also get nine, now this one isn't gonna be the blue tip one, you also get nine panels to make, that looks like a fox, I think that one. That is a fox. Right, then you also get, there's so much you get in this kit. So you get 12 of those. You also get instructions of how to put the whole kit together. You also get a panel for all the flying geese. You also get a huge wadge of calico, is that calico or seeded, natural seed cotton. cotton, to make the background. You get so much in here. There's three left. No, what did you do to it the other day? I wasn't. I've never done this to a Victoria Carrington pack quilt. We took 10% off. Watch this. Well, don't watch it because look, 20 pounds coming off that price. 179. That's why we've only got three left. You get everything you need in there to the front, the binding, and the. That's it. Front and the binding. Yeah, you can do cushions if you want. You can do cushions. You have the green fabric left over from the um, flying geese units if you want. There's three left. There's three left. However, something I haven't got three of. Well, I have. Are they ready? Yeah. We weren't meant to be doing this today, but you know what? So many people missed out when we did it earlier and we did it without any of the samples here. I've, I can tell you now, there's 100 left. There are a new 100 just been checked in. Right, more than 100 went earlier in that short time when I just showed you a little picture. Right, are you ready? So now I, I'm gonna show you these. I can't guarantee you're gonna get any of these, but look, look. Ooh. Look at the colors in there. So they do them so that they match together. Look, that'll all be from the same range, look, see? Right, how many of them? Okay, 20 have gone already. There's this one. I can't tell you which ones you're gonna get. Look at this one. Dark, traditional, oh look, oh! Didn't we have that fabric earlier? This is following your dreams. It's not old stock, it's brand new stock that you're getting here. And then, <laughs> oh look at this one that's just three at random oh. right look aren't they beautiful so you could get any of those for 17.99 right two thirds of the stock has gone so that means 66 have gone already 66 have gone already is there a queue on the phone lines there is a queue on the phone. Oh, there's a two minute wait. Ooh, what are we gonna do for two minutes? 17.99. Uh, let's say thank you to Victoria. When are you in next? Uh, 16th of June. 
Not for ages. That's ages. I know. I've got to come up with some other things to make. I thought you were doing one with the dark one and the pale one. I am. Uh, when's your birthday? January. Oh, I thought you were 16th of June. I thought, is that your birthday? Thank you very much Thank for coming you. in to see Thanks us. So much. Lovely to see you. And you. Go home and feed. Oh, you, 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 if you're to pizza? No, I'm gonna, I've got to go home to the kids. Oh, well, they are, is it school holidays? Yeah. Oh, yes, you have. Another week. What? Another I've got week? this week. Yeah. Mm, fabulous, says Syl. Thank you very much indeed. Right, keep going through on these. Uh, 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 hang on, how many pounds? Uh, have we sold out yet? I'm staying with you, I'm staying with you. There are 30 not checked out, 26 in baskets. And how many people on the phone line? Yeah, you see 10 people on the phone lines. They're going to go. After the break, I'm doing sewing machines. I've got the Italian 9, which I haven't seen for ages and ages. And that's an embroidery machine as well as a sewing machine. There was something else important I have to tell you about. Oh, the walking feet and the chalk pen, which we've been waiting months and months and months. Oh, that's not even on pre-order yet. It will go on pre-order during the break. Sorry. Um, I'll see, thank you. Thank much. you. I'll see you in four minutes when I've chosen my gluten-free pizza from now. <laughs> Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Sewing Streets have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. 
Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 73 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in to our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 till 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So, you never have to spend a minute without us. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. Full of friendly, warm hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. You haven't seen this for how long, Cap? Months and months and months and months, right? It is, it's not just a sewing machine cover, it's your Italia 9. It's your Italia 9. Now, uh, Jan just messaged in, didn't she, and said on that last show, why didn't we use the button? Well, let's have a look. Why shouldn't don't we use the button? Not that instead of the buttons, use the flower. Oh, my word, there's so many to choose from, Jan. Where do you reckon the, the flower one is that Jan was talking about there? 
there, one of these maybe. Pictograph section. There's so many beautiful stitches. Right, but this isn't just a sewing machine. This is an embroidery machine as well. What's the throat size? Someone's asked already. I'll measure it for you now. It is. It is eight and a half inches from here to. Oh, hang on. Try. Right. Eight and a half inches from here to here, and it's six inches from there to there. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now. Before I go on about the rest of the machine, I'm just going to show you around here, right? So it looks like you can use it, have it in your room, like a normal sewing machine, right? But what you do is you can slide this back bit off, which reveals the back of the machine. Then in here, right, we have the complete um, embroidery section, right? Now, they suggest that if you're gonna leave this on, you don't move the sewing machine around while this is still on. And you literally just line the two dots up. Oh, hang on. There and there, hang on there. There and there, slide it in. That there is then your embroidery unit. Now, we have to press the button, there, look. Your embroidery unit comes out like that. It's then stable. You can then fix one of your three embroidery hoops. Look, you get the huge one, the medium-sized one, and the baby one. You get all of this with it. This all comes with it, right? And then, with that, you can do... Look, 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 look. So many different embroidery types, look. Look. Oh. Look. Message from Louise. Uh, love my atelier, such a joy to work with. Do you know what? I'm going back years now. It must have been when we were at Sewing Quarter. Uh, yeah. When we were at Sewing Quarter, that was made for me, look. That was my initial J. Um, when uh, we sold these, we used to also do... Um, yeah, class with Jane. And we used to do them at the old jewellery maker studios in the, in the um, conservatory bit. And um, I went to one of them one day because the, the part of the prize was I would turn up with tea and cakes in the afternoon. And it was fascinating to see the ladies. I only saw ladies there. There were no men there. But they were really, really learning so much to do with this machine. £2,899. Uh, split pay of £579. It's a gorgeous machine. Now, what I'm going to do is, um, this is what's fantastic about this machine. I've just said to you, don't, don't move it with the thing on. Press the button, John. I'm going to move it now with the thing on. Okay, question. Is the machine the same as the Elna 780? No. The Elna 780 does not do embroidery. It does decorative stitches, but this does full-on embroidery. Let me see if I can find it in the... Um, the brochure here look look at the right hang on look at the brochure start with look at all of these these are all embroideries that are already in the machine look is that if i'm not mistaken is this the one that's not got anna maria horner designs in it let me have a look look at look 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 look, look. just beautiful look at all of those there i'll just look now uh, let me move it across there. So, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. No, 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 I'm not wrong. I'm not wrong. Look. Guys, isn't it funny what your memory keeps hold of? Look. Oh. We just pull out from there so you can see the Arna Maria Horner designs. Look. There's pa pages and pages and pages. This machine, set it up as an embroidery machine. Forget about the sewing to start with. There's a hundred design charts in, in, uh, built in. And you can create more from scratch. It's got a USB on the side here, so you can download. Now, if you're gonna buy this, make sure you read this properly first, because I don't want to give the wrong information. I can't remember if it's an 
FPEG or a JPEG or something. Read your brochure. Read your brochure so you know which ones you can download. I know. So this is, these are just ones that are already in the machine. Right? Now, what I love about this machine, right, I'll just put that back there, is it tells you every step of the way what you're doing. So look at, look at the side here, right? On the screen, what's it say on the screen there? Yeah, warning, the embroidery unit is attached or detached. Please turn the power off and then on again. So I'm going to switch that off. I'm going to take off the... Um, I'm taking that unit off, right? And that's going to live over there because I'm not going to do an embroidery. I'm just going to talk to you about the sewing machine itself. I'll slide up. So if you don't use the embroidery machine, this bit here just slides straight back onto the back so you've, your machine looks like it's completely as one again, right? So then we'll turn it back on again here. If you're going to get this, it takes a while to switch on. It just panicked us a little bit, but watch. Right. So here are your utility stitches. That's the first thing it goes to. So it tells you what um, foot you need on the machine. I've just chosen there a normal default straight stitch there, right? But, but look how big the pitch are. And also what I love is you see here, that's how it will stitch at the moment, right? But if you were to, oh, I'm gonna do this. Let me go around that aside. Can you see it's change in size on the actual screen? Watch. Oh, hang on. It's very difficult doing it from the back, yeah. But look, the picture changes to what you're doing, right? Now, if I just take you to here, that's the home button there. Watch, you press on that. It tells you, do you want to do straight and zigzag? Do you want to do buttonholes? Do you want to do decorative? Do you want to do letters or T-shirts? Look. Um, I'll need it on the big screen, I'm afraid, Paul. Paul. No, no, I apologise. Uh, seaming, over edge, rolled hem, blind hem, zipper, gathering. Everything you need to know. Just get rid of that by pressing that. Go back to the beginning. Right, so should we choose a stitch? Look, it tells you, and then if you need to change your foot, let me see if I've got any that need to change the foot. No, these are all going to be the same now, aren't they? But literally, you can ch it, it, you can, it can tell you, there's your stitch. There's the foot you need on. These are the dimensions that it is at the moment. But if you want to change them, just press on those buttons. You can change those again. Let's just go back to home again. Right, hang on, A, B, C. Look, look at the, diff look at the different um, alphabets you've got in there. Right, let's just press that again, home. Oh no, clear, home, buttonholes. Oh, come on, look. It, look, 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 see, NC tells you the foot. That's the buttonhole we're doing. We can change to another buttonhole if you want. There's the buttonhole. It's called a... Oh, no, it's telling you to pull. Oh, yeah, 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 look. It's even telling you that you need to pull down. Of course, I can't find it now, can I? Yep, the buttonhole lever here. So it's telling you on the instruction. Oh, look at that lovely light under there. It's telling you that you have to pull down the buttonhole. So you put the buttonhole foot on, but then you can just lift that. But there's so much more to show you. Look at this, right? I can't spend too much time because I've got to go to the 580s. But let me just now press uh, uh, home. Right, where was I? Decorative. Look at all those, look at all the different applique stitches, heirloom stitches, satin stitches. Let's go to quilt stitches. Quilt stitches. Look at all of those. There's your quarter inch seam foot. Auto, there you go, change the foot again. O foot, which is your quarter inch foot uh, there. It has immediately set the machine to quarter inch foot there. Let's go to locking stitch. Locking stitch, uh, what's eight there? Look, you are going to have so much fun. Oh, we've got a message, right? I'm blessed to have both the Juki HLUX8 and the beautiful Atelier 9. The Atelier 9 can do so much more than you can ever imagine from Karen. Thank you, Karen, for that. Right, but I've only pressed the home button so far. I haven't pressed that. Look, there's mirror imaging. There's up and down mirror, mirror, mirror imaging. That's your feed dog's light there. But let's just go to here. Let's press on that one. Right. Yeah, uh, we, we know you can buy this machine elsewhere and we know it'll be about that price, but do they have split pay? Do they have us telling you about it? Right, okay, look, watch this then. 
won't let you do that because it's changing it from a sewing machine to an embroidery machine. But the embroidery unit is not attached. Do you still want to enjoy? I don't want to. No, thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Oh, I said take me to the embroidery because I pressed the wrong button. But hang on. Look, 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 look. Here are all your choices. There's your Anna Maria's look. Oh, hang on. Look. There's your choice of all your Anna Maria designs. The big butterfly. Oh, what does that say? Oh, tell, oh, tells you how big the foot that you need to do it look. It's just brilliant, isn't it? It tells you everything. It's just okay, that. Come on, John. Uh, right, go. let's get out of there. It's very difficult doing it back to front, let me just warn you. Right, let's get out of there. Oh, there, oh now, this is how you choose your colours. This is how you choose all your different colours for your butterfly there. I'm not quite sure how to get out of here now. There you go, back to home. Clear that one. Come on. Yeah, it's because I'm doing it back to front, isn't it? Here you go. Let me, let me try and get out of here then. There we go. Switch to ordinary sewing. Yes. There you go. Back to the beginning. So what else have I got on here? Oh, this is here. This is your folders. So you can put favourite stitches in folders, right, if you want to. Then we'll go to settings. Oh, no. Clear. S settings. Right? Look. This is all about your light settings, your volume settings, whether you want it in inches or millimetres. It's got so much going on for it there. Uh, and then if I just press here, it should turn the page. Look. Text screen or touch screen calibration. Format. You see, it does all sorts of things, doesn't it, there? Let's clear that one. Right. Then here, look at this. Oh, I don't know how to wind the bobbin. Well, this is how you wind the bobbin. Oh, wait, hang on. Uh, look. Look. It's everything from inside the um, instructions manual. It's all on your machine. So if you are sitting there and think, oh, I can't bother going upstairs to find that. What does that one say there? Oh, come on. There you go. Buttonhole settings. Attaching the dual field holder. Rem uh, replacing the needle plate. Replacing the needle. Everything you need to know, it's all in there, look. Then, that locks the whole machine. So if you're halfway through something, you don't want anyone to play with it, you don't want anyone doing anything with it, just press the lock button and that locks the machine up there. Okay, at this moment in time, we have three of these machines allocated to us. If you go to the YouTube, now, will it be on Sang Street YouTube? Has Jane done this? Oh, okay. Okay, if you go to YouTube, you're better to see Jane uh, launching this. It's the old studio with Debbie Shaw, right at the beginning, beginning before I started. Yeah. So just look up Jane Brogan. Third of May, 2020. Obviously, I'm not doing it any justice at all here. Um, but you got your feed dogs at the side here. I don't know what this is for here. I don't know what that's for, but you can look everything up. Oh, the other thing is, is when your foot, when your foot pedal arrives, right, you see the wire here, it's inside, so you never lose the wire. It lives inside the foot. So what happens is when you finish with it, you can just, I think this is the kind of machine you're going to leave out all the time anyway, but if you want to, you can literally fold that all inside there like that. See, that goes in there. And then this fits on there like that. And it's all nicely packed away neatly. Um, what else do I need to tell you about it? Oh, some slides. I've got some slides, yeah. Okay, uh, can I see that? Big thing? No, no, don't, please don't apologise. Please don't apologise. Uh, wife, pardon? Wi-Fi? What, so you can watch YouTube on it? Oh, so what does Wi-Fi enabled mean? What does it mean then? Let's have a look. Oh, uh, loading updates and manuals and things like that. Let's, I'm going to have a look now. Well, we'll have a look. Oh, because there's no screen, is there, to watch it on? No telly on it to watch them. Where would the, um, let's have a look. Is there a content? So here you go. Wi-Fi. Well, there's so many. You just sit down with a cup of tea and read through all of this, because there's loads to look at, first of all. Oh, actually, we can ask one of the ladies who's already got it. What? Oh, there you go, Wi-Fi. 
102 to 104. Karen it was, wasn't it? Works with your iPad. Oh, right. I remember. I remember now. Right. So if you set it to do embroidery, you can team it with your iPad. You can go down the garden, go downstairs, make some lunch, whatever. And you can see on your iPad what it's stitching. And if it runs out or if it finishes, if it's finished the red and you need to go and put the blue on, you can do things like that. Here you go. A wireless router device that complies with the something wireless standard, right? To start the Wi-Fi settings, press on. I pressed on, haven't I? The network setting button six is enabled. Is there a six on the front there then? Let me switch it off and switch it back on again, see what happens. Oh, look at the fingerprints on that screen, sorry. Right, so I switched it on. So where's number six on there then? No, because that's a stitch, isn't it? Oh, uh, do you think it's in spanners? What, what, what? Yeah, look, 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 look. Glad we know, because somebody knows what's happening. Wi-Fi! One. No, hang on, it might give away our network name. <laughs> Oh, maybe you have to search for it. I'm not going to do it now. But anyway, so you, you switch it on. Oh, then you have to press six to enter the network settings. Choose one of the four methods to connect to the Wi-Fi connection. See pages 103. Oh, so you can do, this means nothing to me. WPSB, PBC, WPS pin, search or manual. That's all right. Um, anyway, let's see what it says you can do. Hang on, I'm just, I'm just intrigued as to what, what it can do. Right, so... You must be able to look things up, mustn't you, on it? IP address setting. Oh, you could have voted for the um, search for star. There's language... Oh, there's a language selection mode. You do English, French, Spanish, Italian, Dutch, Portuguese, uh, Svenska. What language is that? What language is Svenska? Polish. There's so much in here, it's incredible. On the Jeremy website, there's loads as well. Right, have a look. So sorry, I didn't do the slides. Hang on, I've got to... Oh, there okay, there's the Jeremy website. There's the brochure. Well, you've got your brochure with it, so don't worry about that. Yeah. Look on there. Have a look on the Jeremy website. I don't think you can buy from the Jeremy website, can you? Okay. Oh, you can. It's how much? Same price, but not, no split pay. Okay, can we go to the slide then and have a look at our slide? Go to that. Right, here you go. Wi-Fi, that's as far as I got, got excited. Oh, uh, smart and useful iPad apps, fully computerised, AccuFeed system, auto presser foot, bobbin thread sensor. Oh, if your bobbin's running out, it tells you. One step buttonholes, embroidery unit, starts up. 300 built-in stitches, 16 buttonholes. Now, the other important thing that Jan mentioned earlier is this goes to a nine millimetre stitch width. So you can do your capital letters as well. Hmm? Category D. Uh, electronic, electronic knee lift. Electronic? Hang on. I don't know how that's electronic. Anyway, uh, carrying on. What else did it say? Sorry, no, sorry. Uh, Built-in memory banks up to four MBs. Don't know what they are. Megabytes, still don't know what they are. Easy set bobbin, USB port, and a skip stitch composer. You can make your own stitches and everything. Now, is there another one? Oh my word. Oh, that's what I couldn't find. That must still be at the old studios. Look at everything you get there. All the feet you could possibly need. All your presser feet. You get a couching foot. Oh, I did have that. Dual feed holder twin. Dual field foot holder single. Darning foot. Do what? Oh, that's the first slide. Because there's part two. Look at all of that. That's the embroidery accessories, sewing quilting accessories, operation and maintenance. That's posh. 
instructional DVD. What else do we get there? The fabric cover, the foot control, screwdrivers. Magnetic clamps or saw though. Oh, I know what they're for. They're for when you put your um, uh, fabric in the hoops and it keeps it to one side. How brilliant is that? Karen's message back in. John, I really am computer stupid, but setting the Atelier Wi-Fi is really easy. Yes, but I want to know, uh, Karen, what do you use it for? If you can't watch the telly on, if you can't watch, the, you know, um, that girl from Greatest Showman singing on Great British Talent last week. You know what I mean? She was good, wasn't she? She was ever so good. Anyway, is that, is that it for slides? Oh, it's just a bit of, there we go. Information about the machine. I think Karen wrote that. Oh, you wrote it, did you? So much going on. I'm sorry I'm not doing it justice. Have a good look at it and read all about it. There's no rush, but we've only got three of them. And, we, and so many people have messaged me going, why haven't you got embroidery machines? Why haven't you got embroidery machines? Well, this is an embroidery machine. Sewing machine and embroidery machine. For t I understand it's a considered purchase. I understand that. Yeah, and it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I can say that, cats. It's not like a washer dryer where it's half and half. It's two completely set. Well, you can have the, the embroidery thing set up all the time, but remember, you need the space behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, okay, I'm going to move on. I love everything. There are people on the phone lines, but I love all of that. It's a brilliant. What I'll do is, like, when I get time, I didn't know we still had this, you see. And in fact, none of us knew we had it because it was still at the old cat. I had to go and collect it this morning. Cat to go and collect it this morning. Now I'm going to move slightly to the middle because I'm going from one end of the spectrum to the other. I'm going here. Got three, you got three, I can do it on this one. Right, I will be doing these machines in a minute. Oh, that's got a machine in it. I was just about to push that to one side. Thinking, why won't that go? You've been waiting for these for ages. You know RCL, she uses this all the time. Now, I thought you said this was Hayley's tatty one. This isn't tattoo. Oh, okay, Hayley uses this upstairs, you see. But this isn't a tatty one. Look at this, right? I'll do it from the upstairs if that's right to start with. Like I say, CL uses these. Oh, ignore that, that's my surprise for later. Ignore that one. Right. This is. The what's the matter? Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I couldn't figure out what you were saying to me. Wow, well, that. I don't know. Yeah, it's fine. Fourteen ninety nine. So you get the pen. You get the pen here, which on the end here has got an eraser. What you do is you press the end like that, and the chalk comes out. Now in here you also get this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine white ones in total. Let me just put that one away. And you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working my way down, Kat, don't you worry. She's getting worried that I've missed off the pencil sharpener. You put the chalk in the end there, twist the chart sharpener, not the pen. All you twist this. No, no, you don't no no you don't move the pen. You always move the sharpener. Always move the sharpener. Fourteen ninety nine for all of that. They're very, very popular. They're what? Mess-free chalk in different colours. Main one, white. 14, oh dear. Hang on, let me just take a slurp of my drink. My voice suddenly disappeared then. 14.99. Oh, I better do water. The tea's too hot. <clears throat> As Derek says, my folds must have been getting very dry. Um... The Wi-Fi may be a way of downloading designs to the machine from a computer. Maybe. Maybe. I thought Wi-Fi was when you could walk around the house. Anyway. $14.99. Waiting for ages and ages. Let me get some fabric, actually. Oh. <laughs> Can you give me a, a piece of coloured fabric out of, the, um, out of the box? You know, just a piece of scrap fabric just to show you. Been waiting what? Just plain, 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 plain. Been waiting since the when? 18th of September last year. What when was it? 
Oh, I'm in the wrong place. There you go. It's like what? You are funny. Paul lives in his own little world, I think. 14.99. And so easy to swap the chalk. I'm not going to get a coloured one out, but you know. This is our open studio sample from now on. Yeah, they're in a, they're in a little case. Even when you buy the refills coming up in a minute, they come in a case automatically. Okay, I'll show you how easy it is. If I could open the bag, I'll show you how easy it is to swap the, the chalk. Right, what colour should we go to? Green. So you literally take the green one out, press the end of the pen, take the white one out, put the green one in, and start drawing with the green one. Can you see that? That's brilliant, isn't it? So, put the green one back in there. That's how easy it is to use. Always incredibly, incredibly popular. CL first introduced us to these to us when we, uh, when, because she used it, uses them all the time. There you go. Right, hang on, let me put that in there. Right in there, right in there. Right. So there it is, $14.99. Now you're most probably thinking, what happens when the chalk runs out? Don't need a whole new pen. Right, this is a drawing here. That's not another pen inside this one. Ignore that. What you're buying for your $6.99 are your 16 chalk refills. Fantastic, isn't it? What I would do is if you're definitely buying one of these, I would buy the refill with it. And I know you must be thinking, oh, what do I need all those refills for? What happens when they do run out and we've not got them in stock and we have to wait since September last year for them to come in? I know. Keep going through for those. I'll just take a slurp of my, I wonder if it's cool enough for me to take a slurp of it yet. Oh, no, that's still too hot. Oh, I know, I'll have a piece of melon. What are you doing? What? Side graphic coming in for the pen, fourteen ninety nine, and for the refills, six ninety nine. Yeah, you get loads of refills already in the pen, but you get that you get sixteen refills plus the one in there, or you get this one here. Well, there you go. Oh, not as many of the refills we've got the pen. I'd, I'd, just, I'd just stock up, personally. <laughs> Cat's got September on the brain. There we go. Next September, I know I can tell you exactly, oh, he's not come proposed to me yet. We're, I'll be on holiday. Oh, will I? You mean this September? Yeah, I'll definitely be on holiday this September. Careful, oh dear. I've already booked the meal at the restaurant on the first night. I only only because Lena, the lady who owns it, we've been chatting, we got on really, really well, and we chat now. And she said, what date are you coming? And she said, I'll make sure Briam is on, on that night. So I'm going to turn up on the first night and go, oh, no, I don't want Briam. I want something else. Oh, it's the most gorgeous. Buy my book when my book comes out, because the recipe's going to be in my book. Um, it's like, it's a very traditional Greek dish, which is just roasted vegetables with tomato and feta cheese. But it's been, been in the oven for like hours and hours now, slow cooking and oh, it's delicious. Like, like that, but what you, what you get, you get an earthenware pot and you put in it aubergine, courgette, red pepper, onion. Uh, they put potatoes in theirs. I don't put potato in mine. There's something else as well. And then let that, put olive oil on it. Oh, and um, oregano. Let it go for an hour with a silver foil thing over the top of it. Take it out, add in tins of chopped tomatoes, put it back in the oven for another 45 minutes or whatever, then take it out and then you drop cubes of feta cheese into it. You can either leave them on the top or stir them in. Put it back in the oven for another half an hour. And, oh. Delicious. I've got, okay, and for my lunch today, I've got to cheat. Wait, have, I got, have I got extras? No, no extras. It's fine. Fat is a bottle of water. Worth celebrating. And they just ask her. Shall I go in? Okay. Right. 
Small queue on phone line. Small. Right, while we've got a small queue on the phone line, should we talk about these? Because when Margaret bought her 570A from us, she wanted to walk in front and I said, It's one on the machine, the open toe one, is it or not? Yeah. I've been mentioning them all day. They only, they only launched them yesterday. Right? Uh, yeah, it's on the machine at the moment, Becking. I don't know which is the best angle to look at it. I'll show you in a second. Oh, in your own on the first day, she was like running around, bobbing around. Now it's like, yeah, I'll be there in a minute. It's this. There you go. This is what you're buying. 53.99 category B, so it fits the 550, the 560, the 570. And when we say open toe, it's open there. So very good for like a plique and things like that, or if you need to see where you're going. But there's only what, how many left? One left. A little rush on them while Victoria was using them, obviously. Then we've got the same thing about closed toe. Five left now, five these left. This is the one I've got, on my, well not on my machine because I've got the 680, but the one on my machine is a closed toe one as well. This is for all your category B machines. I can't, I don't want to open it because they're all going to sell out. Go. Oh, I've got a brand, another brand new one today. 53.99. What we'll do is we'll keep the one on the machine. Four left. Oh, except, I oh, know we can't sell that one now, can we? Worries me a little bit. Keep going through for that. Brilliant. If, you're, if you don't know what walking foot is, sorry, I should explain this, right? So you know on your machine, your feed dogs take your fabric through like that. But you've, 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 the top fabric just is left to its own devices. With a walking foot on, it takes the top um, fabric through the same speed as the bottom fabric. So it's not, I thought it was just for thick quilting and things like that. But if you're using really, really flimsy silk or really slippery viscose or something like that, it's really good for keeping them together. Uh, a lot of people, when they've got um, a walking foot on, they don't ever take it off. Did you? Oh, Kat learnt to sew with a walking foot on because she was doing Velcro onto high-vis jackets. Quick change in them. 53.99. Oh, very competitive price. Yeah, very, very competitive price, that one. Now, I've got another, I've got another, um, oh, hang on. Got mine, been waiting, wanting this for ages. Thank you, from Marilyn. Our pleasure, my love. Right, this then is a quarter inch ruler foot. Let me get it in the right place, there you go. Use this in conjunction with your rulers. But actually the ones I've seen in conjunction with rulers have only been that bit. So this bit here, so this low shank, low shank horizontal rotary hook models, seven millimeter width, let's have a look what it says. This foot has a half inch out diameter so that the needle drops a quarter of an inch from the ruler, okay. But it's free motion then, but using a ruler. Instructions are on the inside of this card. I always thought these looked pricey, but I got one for my birthday last year and I use it loads, totally worth it. I, I think she's talking about the walking foot now, not this one. It is, it's, it's brilliant. Once the walking foot's on, the first time you sew with a walking foot, you're gonna think, ooh, there's something wrong with that because it makes a goes like that, right? Also, when you put it on, you must make sure that this bit here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. This bit here, uh, can you see that bit there? That bit there has to be above here, right? Look, that bit there has to be above there. Because if I just press this, right? Uh, no, no, hang on, hang on, I'll put some fabric in. I'm not showing blind, foot down, start, stop. Right. Oh! oh is it, what, what setting have I got this on then? Don't know why it stopped. Oh, come on. Basically, you have to, I'll, I'll do it with the hand crank there. 
right? When you need, move your need, like, see there, how it's making it up and down, up and down, up and down. That's what, that, see the little teeth there? That's what pulls the fabric through. Yeah, best friends with the feed dogs to take the fabric through. I'm not quite sure why that stopped, though. That's your walking foot there, yeah. I'm blaming Victoria Carrington. She was last to you. Oh, no, did she use this one? Mm, yeah. Yeah, I'm blaming Victoria Carrington. There's still one, the open toed left. Four of your closed toe. Are they the same price? Yeah. Um, oh no, I wouldn't buy both. I wouldn't buy both. Don't buy both. I wouldn't buy both of those. But, oh, you're right. Um, I personally would go with the closed toe one. Yeah. Because I think if you're going to use it for a lot of quilting, I think the closed toe one is going to be a little bit more precise because it's going to keep you in that totally... Whereas if you've got an open toe, if you just take a little... If you just like, oh, what's out of the window, like I do. Whereas if you've got the closed toe one, it's just going to be... You're going to be more concentrating on that line, aren't you? Right. Talk about sewing machines. Yeah, do this one first, then. This, I love this machine. If I didn't have my 680, this is the one I'd buy. I mean, I, I, in an ideal world, I'd buy an Atelier or Duke or something like that, but you know what I mean? This is the one I would buy if I didn't have my 680. It's such a lovely machine. Uh, 578, it's, split, it's still on four-way split pay look. 162.25 today. And then uh, three more payments after that of 162.25. Right, let's go along the front here then. Right, I don't quite know what I've done wrong to make it stop sewing. But anyway, here you've got your reverse button. There you've got your start stop button. Now you can only use that if you haven't got the uh, foot pedal plugged in. I've not got the foot pedal plugged in at the moment, so I could use that start stop button there. Uh, along the top here, you've got your da -da 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 lock stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down position. You've got your thread cutter. You've got your go faster, go slower. Then if you come across here, let me just turn that so you've not got a glare on the light, there you go. So, this tells you which stitch. No, hang on, where are we? This tells you which stitch number you're on, that's zero, zero. It tells you that it's a three and a half inch width and a 2.4 length. You can change the 2.4 length up to a five. You can change the 2.4 length down to a naught if you want to. Now this here, you're thinking, well, why is there a stitch width if I'm on a straight stitch? Because that there is a shortcut to the, the default straight stitch. That means, 3.5 means your needle is in your middle point of your sewing uh, needle plate. Now, I don't know if we can show this need, uh, we you be able to see it with the walking foot in. Just show the needle down here, right? Now I'm just gonna press the stitch width, right? Will you be able to, now can you see the needle moving? So that's if you're plussing it, that's if you're minusing it. There are 15, needle positions no because I'm no no um, no because the walking foot's in the way that's all right okay so that moves your needle around there um, so this here is to choose your um, stitches because this machine comes with 200 stitches inbuilt so you can choose your stitches here but you can also choose your mode so you've got mode one Where's the mode button there? Mode two, alphabet one, and alphabet two. So if you go to mo mode one, you think, well, where are my stitches? Well, if you look at the side of the machine down here, all of your stitches are listed here. So they're all the stitches in mode one. These are all the stitches in mode two. So now as Paul is new to Sewing Street, do you want to pick a stitch? Has it got a number underneath? 32, 32, right? So what you do is we, we need to go to mode two because I was in the second mode, so I'm in mode two. And what number do you say? 32. So you need to put your F foot on. 
The stitch width as they have set it is a seven. The stitch length is a 0.4. Is it a satin stitch by any chances? Um, but if you want to change it, you can still change it. You can't make it any higher, but you can make it go lower, right? And you can make it go longer. You're only up to a 0.8 though. So it must be a satin stitch, this one. Right, and if you're thinking, oh, where was I? Just press this, takes you right back to default. But mode one, mode two, then alphabet, we've got a slide for alphabet, which I'll show you in a second, right? Along here, this takes you straight through to a straight stitch. That takes you straight through to a zigzag stitch. That takes you to an over edge uh, stitch, which is like uh, an overlocking stitch, but it doesn't cut the fabric. You've got a special foot for it as well. That there takes you to your first of your buttonholes. This here, you can attach it. So I don't know if you can see, look, you've got a memory scissor. Oh, now, first of all, if I go back to the buttonhole one, you see the little logo there? That means you have to pull down the black, the little black, um, lever at the back there which stops your buttonhole from going too big or too small okay back to here um this one here is when you're doing your alphabet you're making letters that one there is just to clear it take it back to the beginning and that one there as i say is your mode button so we've seen mode one mode two shall we see the slide with the alphabet please there you go so you can do capital letters you can do numbers you can do all the extra bits and bobs and little letters there as well and that's that's your mode A alphabet, that's your alphabet first. You also have this alphabet, your celeriac alphabet. There you go. All your different umlauts and accents and all that sort of thing. Oh. Oh, there's all the stitch. There's your mode stitches that you couldn't quite see. Helicopter, boat, and cat. A tailor's what's it? Is there a tailor's one on the oh, was that thread? It's a thread, sorry, I thought it's a tailor's dummy. Waves. Little heart with flowers around it. Right, now that's um that's your mode one stitches. Uh now I, I do advise, right, I've, okay, I've got to really quickly do this then. Uh please you you who not you who please Google Yahoo or Bing this sewing machine. The first one, that all of them that come up, I'm not saying we're the only people with it at this price, but 99.9% .9 of the ones we look at come up at 90 pounds more. I'll just show you very quickly. There you go, 739 pounds. It is a direct comparison, it is the same sewing machine. That's now, that is right now. That is us just Googling it right now. Now, I'm not saying we're the only people who've got it for £649, but, and have it on split pay as well, but I think if you, at the first four or five or six or seven as you go down, they're all at that price range. And I just think it's brilliant. It does come with an extension table, this one. And it does come with a hard cover, this one. If this one's, I haven't got time to go through them now, just seeing the time. We have got the 550 and the 560 as well. Please go onto the Elna website and see the differences between all of them. But this one here, this is a uh, 560. If you think you're buying the 560, I just jumped to the 570 because it's only like a few pounds. How much? 30 pounds more. 30 pounds more. And you get the alphabet. You don't get the alphabet on any of the others at all. And also, if you are go Googling, Yahooing, or Binging, make sure you put the A on because some people are still selling the 570 without alphabet for the £739. I know. So, number of stitches 380, including the alphabet. Uh, 12 buttonholes, 50 stitch combinations, stitch width of 7, stitch length of 5, 15 variable needle positions. Do you know me now that are under the same umbrella? So you have the same expertise from the management team behind them. I think they might be made in different places, just to be on the safe side. But they are all under the same umbrella. And let me tell you that if you buy this, it comes with a two year warranty from Elna. They are on the shelf at Elna in Stockport right now. We're not allowed to sell you anything which we haven't got access to. They're ready to go. They're on the shelves in Stockport. Could be with you in a couple of days time. And also, uh, their customer services are brilliant. It rings during working hours. The number's on the uh, instructions manual. Uh, it is a fantastic, fantastic company to be involved with. Right, quite a few gone in baskets. Uh, obviously think about it, but make sure you check out before midnight. 
and there's four split pays, yeah? Four split pay, 162.25. And also, we don't wait for you to pay all of your split pays. It will be sent to you the minute we take that first payment from you. So if we take that payment from you at midnight tonight, then uh, it will be sent out to you this week. Okay, am I doing the menu, did you say? Menu. Is it me tomorrow? Uh, I'll see how my voice is coping. Designer fabrics, eight o'clock. Precious peonies, pa Precious, what? Precious peonies panels with Jules Meuf. No exclusive panels. 10 o'clock, books and tools. 11 o'clock, the crafty coat. That's Wendy Orlando. Tote bag. Oh, no, that was, uh, that, but that was 11 o'clock I was reading then. What's 12 o'clock now then? No, the kit, oh, Mark will be furious. Because I, he's been taken off jewelry maker and I'm on jewelry maker at the weekend. How many seconds have I got? Oh, oh I, thought, I, thought, I suddenly thought you said five seconds then. Um, thanks ever so much for sticking with me. I am, I know, I saw him this morning. I said, oh, you're in a lot this week. And he went, no, 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 I'm not on jewelry maker on the weekend now. So I've got to go and see who I'm on jewelry maker with on Saturday. So I said, oh, I'll see you tomorrow. And he went, yeah, 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 I'll see you tomorrow. But apparently the kits haven't arrived yet. Just had an email apparently. So what are we doing? Are we going to go upstairs and talk about it? Over, I bet our pizzas don't arrive till about three. But am I the only person having a pizza? Has everybody else got Nando's? Let's go down Nando's. I look at me advertise to other people. Bye. Thank you ever so much for your company. Um, sorry about this, but it's getting better. It's definitely, definitely, definitely getting better. And I'm not in any pain, just so you know. Make sure you check out your baskets on everything if you've got anything sitting there. And I'm going to go now. So I'll see you tomorrow morning at uh, 8 o'clock. Don't be late. Hi everyone, my name is Jules Mayouf and I'm really excited to be a guest designer on Sewing Street. It's combining two of my favourite things which are sewing and designing. Uh, I live in London at the moment but I'm originally from Staffordshire uh, so I think I've got a combination of two really great things so London's really diverse and um, lots of different cultural impacts and then Staffordshire is very rural so there's a lot of country influence in what I do. My grandma first taught me to sew when I was in my early teens. She was a dressmaker and she was always sewing and taking in orders from different people. Um, and I think I got my initial love of sewing from her. Um, I started making my clothes uh, because I couldn't find anything that was fashionable. So I created my own fashion. A um, bit dubious at times probably. I remember once I um, bought some really lovely, as I thought, heavy brocade material. I created a pencil skirt, thought that was fabulous. It turned out to be curtaining, uh, and I got quite a lot of stick from that. But uh, you know, in my defense, I was a new romantic, and I, I think I was just fashion forward. Um, I have done a lot of um, teaching and coaching and mentoring uh, in sewing in my career. Um, and I would think that probably the best tip that I can give to people, because um, all age groups have various challenges, but the best tip is to be kind and good to yourself and don't worry about if you make mistakes because you've always got your seam ripper to hand. I'm really looking forward to my shows with Sewing Street and helping you have some hints and tips and knowledge. So I look forward to seeing you soon. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, I'm Jane Greenoff and I'm stood in the barn here at Pink's Barn in Gloucestershire, England, which is where I live with my husband, and I stitch. I, st I think I stitch in my sleep. Um, I've certainly been stitching for over 30 years now, and by stitching I'm talking about counted cross stitch, or counted embroidery in general terms. I also collect old samplers, and I've got one to show you here. Now, if this smashing, it was actually stitched in 1796, by a little girl of eight or nine, and it's absolutely charming. So I collect antiques, I love to draw, 
and create antiques for the future and look forward to seeing you all on Sewing Street sometime in the future.